second time for another edition of WZR TV Tuesdays. You got damn right it is. Why don't I hear any music? I don't know. It's playing. Is it playing? Yeah. Alright. Uh, it's my dad's birthday today. Happy birthday to uh, Papa Clark out in Colorado. I just met the man. Big, yeah, man. Very good just, guy. Uh, just flew back, so uh, big ups to him. I thought he... Uh, I was joking with him today. I said, what are you, 70? So no, I'm 68. So he's getting up. Right, he talks to his dad. He's like, "Come on, bro. That's my right, dude. Come on, dude. That's my boss, man." Talks to him like some regular Joe. So listen, uh, Supposedly, he woke you up one morning. You said, "Dude, fuck off, bro. Leave me the fuck alone." He wouldn't stop knocking on the door. <laughs> so I said, "Get the fuck out of here, bro. What the oh, fuck yeah. is wrong with you?" But uh, yeah. Are listen. Are that on? Uh, for now. Okay. Okay, until we take the uh, the live phone calls. Right. <clears throat> but uh, let's load up the uh, the chat room. Turn that just a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All Not right. too much. How's that? That's perfect. WZROnline.com slash chat. WZROnline.com slash chat. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. So, it's been a... Uh, let me tell you something. You, oh, my so friend, yes. have been working your ass off. I mean, listen... There were times back in the day, Matty Boone, I mean, granted, you would go to bed at 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning, granted, but you wouldn't wake up until sometimes 2, even 3 o'clock in the afternoon yeah. at the latest. Well, sometimes by request, too, by the way, but yes. Yes, but uh, you would sleep throughout the day, but you'd be up all night, so it wasn't, yeah. you know, they... Kind of evens just, out. It evens itself out, like a normal person would sleep, but yeah. uh, you, my friend, have been getting up between... Eight, nine, ten o'clock, somewhere. Oh, nine, nine thirty. Nine thirty. I've been working yeah. your ass off yes. the past week. Right. I know one of your bosses is well, on, past three on, weeks. on break. Yeah, yeah, he's been in uh, Europe. Uh, he just got back yesterday. Charlie, we talked about him on here before. Yes, the yes. guy that owns SC Scoops, Twenty Four Wrestling, all those sites. There you go. MMA News dot com, all those sites. Right. Uh, but but uh, yeah, I so gotta I've give you kudos, man. Doing you a two-person uh, job by yes. myself, and that's just on his side. And you remember, I got the Frank gig. Yes. Which. Of itself is two gigs because one of it's wrestling columns, the other is an entire MMA site for Frank. So I'm right. doing about four people's jobs by myself. But yes, I'm nice like that, so don't worry about it. You are right. Uh, <laughs> you, you have been killing it, man. So uh, two play-by-plays in three days. The last nice three paycheck days. coming up tomorrow because of that. Uh, I yes, believe, sir. right? Uh, so that's good stuff, man. So you're killing Thank it. Thank you. Uh, it has been a very, very busy week. I mean, we talk about it every week. Every week's busy. Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Today, though, within, I mean, if you guys have checked the websites within, I don't know, the last couple of hours. It got busy in the second of half of the day. Today. It didn't start off busy. Second yeah. half of the day, yeah. it got busy. And, and you know, I mean, it's there hasn't been many big stories. I think the biggest story this past week would probably be the Jake Roberts. you got to mention that um, stuff, too. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, I know. So. Uh, the, the Jake big, Roberts thing in wrestling was probably the Jake, biggest story. Jake Roberts, uh, we're going to give you guys a health update on him in a little you bit. You have your history with old Jake. And you I want to do just, one of these uh, to yourself here. Okay? Yeah, I know. I didn't get a chance <laughs> to do the... Uh, I, think I doubt they pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, and then uh, I put up an exclusive story a couple of hours ago about Zack Ryder. Um, I put that up earlier today, right? Very similar to JTG yeah. in that... He basically he wants talks out. Uh, well, it's it's to the point. Well, here, now, I'll tell you what I heard. You tell me what you heard. I heard he basically very simple. He spoke badly about the company in public, specifically on Twitter, where he's got almost I think it's one point six four million followers. Correct. Almost two million followers, and he's been kind of I don't want to say trash talking, but talking negatively. Hmm. At least that's how it's perceived. And their reaction was come to Raw because he hasn't been at TV the last few weeks. Right. right. Come to Raw. And uh, be the jobber squash guy for uh, Rusev, which is so the they brought him in last night. Which is the equivalent to JTG with Ryback, right? Back in his day when he spoke out against WWE, and that was his punishment. And, and but you said you had point, heard that he wants out. Well, it's it's to the point now. Yeah, we I, I put it up that. on the website okay. uh, a couple of hours ago, where it's Inform to the us. point now where Ryder went out. I mean, we know a year or two ago, I, about a year or two ago. He went out and, you know, they were pushing him for a little bit. And part of the reason for that is because he went out and established himself on social media is as a guy. Is this when he was doing the thing with Eve Torres and all that? And she was cheating, or he was in love with her? And yeah, and then they, that had, well, well, they had the, the Zack Ryder, they launched a YouTube show. No, no, yeah, no, he did it himself. Right, right. He yeah. was he became very popular on social media. Oh, okay, I thought you said they were using him in WWE. 
because he got popular, and I said, oh, is that right. back when the East Coast... He wasn't a complete jobber like he is now. Yeah. You no, know? I think he even had a belt at one point, like a U.S. title or, an, or something. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. But, uh, so, so anyways, it's to the point now, this guy went out and established himself on social media, and his feeling is, listen, I got myself over on social media, I've got all these fans, and you guys right now are on a current push with social media and Twitter and Facebook. So yeah. if you got a guy like myself who's been able to get himself over, at least play me into storylines where I'm a social media guy, you guys are... Yeah, you know, even created the internet wrestling title, remember? He had yeah! The belt? But my thing is this. That's a double-edged sword because he got himself over on social media, which sounds better than I got myself over on the internet. But it is but the in WWE's fans. eyes, right. in WWE's yeah. eyes, yeah. and it, this is what's hypocritical. He got himself over with the marks, the internet marks. He's yeah. an internet darling, I think is the actual right. phrase, internet darling. Right. I know where you're going with that. But at the same time, right. they are such marks for the internet when it comes to social. As long as you put that social media phrase on it, Absolutely. it's no longer internet darlings. Right. It's, it's right. social media darlings. But he's over with them too. They can't. He's it's over with them too. How many people have more Twitter followers than him? Like five or six people. No, they're seeing him. People like that, right? right. Yeah, like but, the but, very but, top guys. The but, creme de la creme. But you know what? It's like WWE hates the internet. They can't stand the internet. The marks, the the dirt sheets. You know, all of us. They, they got they, me all. They can't. Here. They can't stand the internet. But I'm not yet, breathe. but yet, when they want to plug something or they want to hype social media, they're all about the internet. So those same marks and those same internet fans that yeah. they hate, they want them to join. Well, that's my thing. And, and they yeah. hate the internet marks and the guy, the wrestlers that get over with the internet. They almost punish them because they get over with the wrestling internet fans. Daniel Bryan, for the longest time, when he was part of the NXT crew, or right. uh, the Nexus, what were they calling him at the time? The Nexus. When he was part of them, they hated him because he was the internet poster child. You're right. I mean, he right. was the internet guy. Right. Zack Ryder's another example. You know, there's a million examples. But there's such marks for Twitter and Facebook. What's the difference? There is no difference between internet marks and social media. It's the well, same thing. It's it, it's like oh, that, because you can get on Twitter on your phone. That's right. not internet. They they uh, listen. It's like WWE. They hate the marks. <coughs> they hate the dirt sheets. But yet they love you when it comes to hey, log into our Twitter page and our oh, Facebook yeah. page. It, it reminds me of. Uh, WWE talent or or somebody that's in WWE or TNA, they bash the dirt sheets, right? Uh, we're terrible, we're garbage. The second they are released, they're the first people to oh, email yeah. us and say, "Hey, can you plug my booking email?" Well, that's because hey, they're can you plug this? They're towing the company line while exactly. they're under the WWE roof. Exactly. It's we hate you know. And then when they're right. released, right. hey, you want to talk? To hey, we, but, we, um, we need you now. You the know funniest I mean? part, and this is the most hypocritical part, WWE's entire. Th- as far as a business, the social media is the network, which is a digital it's service. Right. It's an right. internet <laughs> service, for lack of better explanation. I mean, you need right. the internet to get it on. You know, Pretty whatever much. the fuck you Pretty use. Much. You have to even if you're on, even if you're on PlayStation, and whatnot. That's you still through need the, the internet. internet. Yeah, you need the internet. So yeah. Roku, X, it's all through the internet. Oh, so they man. hate the internet, but their entire future depends on them getting over. Right. As a business on the internet. So, Zack Ryder basically, we'll get back to Zack Ryder here real quick. And I can't we'll believe we spent the most time on Zack uh, Ryder. That well, we'll that big of a story. Yeah, no, but uh, Zack Ryder, it's basically the point where JTG was here a year or two ago. Good you guys heard the reports. Yeah. Uh, he was there. Chad. Chad and Jane. Which one's your main guy Shad. you talk to? Chad, okay. Um, but uh, and, uh, Ryder is basically to the point now where he has given up and he knows that, you know, I have basically kept my mouth shut for years now, the years that I've been in this company, and it's to the point now where, you know what, I may be better off being released and going out to the indie scene, or TNA, or Ring of Honor, or somewhere like that, where I can actually be happy. He's frustrated, he's not happy, some of his recent tweets are basically, yeah, I know, this sucks, and he's basically, if you read some of his latest tweets, he's to the point now where... I'm um, done. Yeah, like kind of like where Ziggler got. Fuck it. Exactly. Kind of like where Ziggler got. And even the same thing after Ro- Raw last night, he says, "I get it. I got squashed by Rusev again, or whatever he said." Right. Kind of like I know what you're doing, know, Jackass. You so know. it's basically the point now where he is already planning for life after WWE. He expects 
his release sooner than later. Now, with that being said, if WWE knows the guy... Winners later, you're right, by the way. If WWE knows the guy... Dino's telling a bunch of jokes, and I'm laughing at him okay. while reading the chat, and Winners later said, Boone's reading your shit, and he's laughing. That's exactly why I'm looking here oh, and okay. laughing. Dino's, Dino's, Dino's uh, trip, man. Right, right is to the point now where it's basically, fuck it, I'm not happy here. I could be much better off probably on the indie scene, probably make damn near as much money coming off WWE. He sells indies. a lot of merchandise. Well, $5,000 a night on the indie yeah, scene. Man, he sells a lot of merchandise, and you he know? gets a percentage of that. That's true. Uh, I mean, he sells a lot of merchandise, That's or at least he used to. Actually, you know what? I don't think he's... Is he still in the top ten? Do you know what? There's still someone, as of a couple of weeks ago, I think he might be. I think he might I, be. I forget. I think we did the top he's ten up long there, ago, man. and I don't remember right now. Oh, he's got the headbands, and he's got the wristband. I mean, basically yeah. another uh, mini Cena. Cena, yeah. You know? Um, but uh, he's basically to the point now where, fuck it, I know that... Probably the next round of cuts, if not before then, I'm going to be released. I know it's coming. It's not going to be a surprise. Um, and he's, he's fed up. So, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens with uh, Zack Ryder and WWE. Now, two other things. Uh, Non-wrestling and UFC and MMA related. Uh, show related. Show related. I'm thinking of two in my head. One is uh, this, and the other one is this. Yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, let's, let's talk about first... Fantasy football. That was this. We, uh, you know what this one was, I right? thought you were going to do it like a football talk. That was the football. Oh, okay. And then I'm, this yes. was the... Absolutely. Yes. Okay, you go. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> fantasy football. So here's the deal. Um, I believe there are two different WZR fantasy football teams. Mm. And uh, um, there's there's a group that are in one league, and then you and I are in another league. Now, I thought we were going to be... Well, we're... We'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. Uh, there, there, there's going to be two different leagues, I believe, I and, and basically, no, you didn't. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's ten and ten, and uh, we were supposed to be in the one league. And honestly, the first time I got an invite to that league was about a week ago, and I think I never got one. I think the problem was is I've got a I've got a Yahoo email account. Yes, me which too. is R Clark PWS. That's my main email is my Yahoo. R Clark PWS at Yahoo.com. Yeah. Never check it. I use my webmaster of Pro Wrestling Scoops dot com. Well how would they is, know that email? Do you put it on the web? Is, no, well, when you log into Yahoo, you use your Yahoo. No, I know, email but account. how would they have sent you to that email? How would they know that email address? Did they did you put that I, I don't know, but I got an you invite. Put it on the internet? I got an invite about a week ago. <laughs> For that, I never check my Yahoo account, so I think the invites may have been going there, something like that. Uh, but anyways, nonetheless, we opened up our own league and did a draft, yeah. um, and we've got a couple of people from the uh, from the chat room in there. I I'm not sure team. if you guys, you do have a good team. I know we have, uh, who's who's in our league? Uh, the I know Winner's Lair. Winner's Lair. John Morgan. John Morgan's in there. Jonesy? Jonesy, Ian, Ian Jonesy, uh, I believe. Yeah, there he is. That's the last I remember. Um, I don't know. Ian Jonesy's in there. You um, set it up. I have no idea. There's uh, He just pretty much said, here, you're in this league. I said, okay. I, I think we had six And then last night, night we got some friends around here. Around. He said, yo, you're in this league, too. Yeah. I said, yeah. all right. So yeah. anyways, we uh, we oh. hooked it up, man. And we did our draft on uh, Sunday night, 8.30 Eastern time. 8.30 Eastern. Just got to ignore it. Uh, 8, 8.30 Eastern. It's not that hard. It's pretty hard to ignore. It's ignore. not that hard. 8.30 Eastern time, uh, we did our draft on Sunday night. You, my friend, have a pretty fucking good team. Are you talking about Dan? Dan? You're talking about the WCR oh, League. Oh, WCR League. I did my own draft there, yeah. yeah. He drafted for me on a, on a personal friend. We did another we had, another league yeah, last night. With our buddies. Right. Offline right. buddies. And uh, he yeah. had to do it for me because I was busy with play-by-play -play with Raw. Right. But with our league, I, I did my own draft, and uh, I'm very happy with the team I got. Who did you... You've got Peyton I got Peyton. Weeks. Yeah, you do have Peyton in both leagues. Did you leagues. get me Peyton? Yes, I did. Okay, then I got Peyton in both yeah. leagues. Yeah. But yeah, for the WZR League, you've got Peyton Manning. I got Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Got, great. Uh, Ellington. Ellington. Uh, fuck, I forget off the top of my head. Um, Who's your running backs in uh, in that league? I'm trying to think. Uh, fuck, I don't remember. We, we would have to go in and, yeah, uh, and, and, and check. But uh, I have, in uh, the WZR League, I've got Matt Forte and Eddie Lacy as my two running backs. You got them in his killer. league, too, don't you? Uh, I've got Matt Forte in Dance League. You don't have uh, Stacy. Uh, Zach Stacy, I have in Dance League. You just said you had both of those. No, I said I have Eddie Lacy from Green Bay. Oh, Eddie Lacy, not Zach Stacy. Zach Stacy over there, Eddie Lacy. I confused yeah, the Lacy. No, they, they're, okay. they're similar. Okay. But um, the, yeah, the, so the 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 regular season starts this Sunday. No, the regular season starts. I know Monday, Thursday. Thursday. 
It's Thursday. Mm-hmm. Two days from now. There's a game every but Thursday is, night. Is Sunday the is the first Sunday this Sunday? Like the first big full yes. schedule Sunday. The kickoff is Thursday night. You get yeah, the yeah, one yeah. game. Then Sunday but we've got a. Full that's what I was asking. Game. On Sunday, yep. do we have like a bunch of morning? Oh hell yeah! That's I didn't know that. All right. I knew. Back, man. I knew we had the Thursday. And I know Monday night football. I didn't know Sunday yeah, was our man. first real Sunday. We've got okay. two Monday night football games next week. Yeah, double head to head with Raw. Yeah. So, uh, so Thursday night we've got the one game. It's uh, the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Super Bowl champions, defending Super yeah. Bowl champions. They defeated the uh, Broncos. 49ers. Oh, it was 49ers? the 49ers? Yeah, last year. It was oh, the, the Niners beat the Broncos to get in. Right. Yes. Or wait, right. are they both in? San Francisco beat Denver to move on. Who to beat the, uh, Seattle? I thought... Uh, who did... Was it New England? New England still teams. wasn't there, right? Who beat Seattle to uh, to get into the... Uh, it, nonetheless, the Super Bowl last yeah, year that's was uh, bug Seattle. <laughs> There's somebody in the chat. Yeah, somebody will give us. But uh, Seattle and uh, San Fran, and San Fran, or uh, Seattle went on to uh, to win the Super Bowl last year. So we've got uh, Seattle, and I can't remember who they're playing this Thursday night, but we got to put our lineups in, like every week. And Me and weeks. you play each other. Is it in dance league or this league that we start first week, just like last year? Dance league, you and I. Okay, last year, you remember, in our league, we were week one, it was me and you. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then, uh, so we'll move on. But uh, we're going to talk football, and uh, we'll get all of you guys involved. Green Bay. Green Bay, that's right. what it was. We'll get all of you guys involved. We'll keep tabs on uh, on the other league as well. We'll get everybody in the chat room so that when we do the football talk, we can get you guys involved. And then maybe next year we'll do something where we can kind of hit the leagues against each other or something like that. We'll figure something out. But it'll be cool to uh, do a little football talk every uh, Tuesday night with all you guys in the chat room, and uh, and we'll do that. The other thing is, before we move on, we're going to talk Monday Night Rock. Jake Roberts, we're going to get a health update on him, and all the latest news and rumors over the past week. So, over the weekend, I said to Matty Boone, I said, you know, I was going through my closet, Okay. And there's two boxes of a, big ass a box. couple, a couple hundred. Well, they're empty ish, but yeah, I mean, you no. sold a ton of them, but they were still a bunch <laughs> left. <laughs> there was, there's a couple hundred t shirts. Well, you bought how many t shirts? Uh, like 300, man. I thought you bought like a thousand. It was about, it cost over a thousand. Oh, okay, I confused that. But, yeah. uh, well, there's still uh, a bunch uh, left. But. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, so, um, so we go in there over the weekend, and I said, you know what? I said, we have never offered a deal for WZR t-shirts, and I had them priced at uh, $20 a pop, right? And I said, how about over the weekend, they're just sitting here in the closet, why not get rid of them? Why not just offer some sort of deal where we can ship them out? So I said, you know what, $10 a pop, I'll cover the shipping and handling, because it's only 2 or $3 to send each t-shirt out. In America. In America. <laughs> Right, big difference. But uh, so, anyways, I we forget how put far this show reaches in America through three dollars. So I Australia's right. expensive as shit. Absolutely. Yeah. So I put up a notice on the website. <coughs> and I said, you know what? Screw the twenty dollars for right now. Let's just do a a one day sale where we'll do ten dollars. I'll cover the shipping and the handling. Boone over here says, dude, I didn't it. say it until after the fact, but I was thinking it. I He's admitted thinking. to him that I was thinking when I saw him start doing his promotional thing. I said, I thought to myself. He's selling one or two shirts. One or two sheet t-shirts. Let right? me just say this before you continue. I was wrong. <laughs> I was dead wrong. I mean, I was fucking way wrong. So I started wow. getting, I, started getting, I put it up on Facebook that, you know, Jesus. $10 a t-shirt will cover the uh, the shipping and handling. I put it up on Facebook. I checked my email and one after another, after another, after another, after another. I mean, these things just came in all day long, man. I mean... By the time it was said and done, there were between 20 or probably around 20 t-shirts In the 20s. sold. 20 was, to 30. You're, are you talking total to two days or yeah. just that first day? Uh, both days. Both, both days, days you're in the 20s, yeah. Probably mid to upper 20s. Yeah. But, uh, so all your t-shirts are uh, are going out this week. A couple of them went out today. The rest are going to go out uh, He's right. tomorrow. right. One of the players dead right. The guy owes me like a thousand bucks, but he'll never admit it. Oh, we made a bet a long time ago when he yeah. first started selling them. I think his prediction was, I'll sell 100 before the end of the year. Yeah. Or even something, maybe even crazier than that. And I said, dude, you won't sell 10 by the end of the year. Or no, what did I say? No, I think it was 100. I said, you won't sell 100 by the end of the maybe year. Maybe we priced them too high. Maybe I did, you know, maybe $20. Nobody wanted to pay $20. So, anyways, we put it up. And listen, it's back to being, it's back to being 20 right now. I figure what we'll do is... 
for like Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that. Yeah. We'll offer a deal, like a one or two day that deal. That was our Labor Day sale. That was the Labor Day sale. Yeah. Thanksgiving's coming up. I mean, no, I guess not. Thanksgiving. Yes, it is November. September, October, November. Okay, what's it the, is. What's the next holiday? Oh, bitch, it what's is the next up. holiday between Halloween. now and Thanksgiving? Halloween. Yeah. We're not doing Halloween. Yet. But, uh, I don't know, something for Christmas. Oh, and shit, we got autographs and shirts, too, still. A couple people I wanted autographs. You yeah. are crazy. Who'd you want? That oh, blew my, it didn't even me. cross my mind. You came in and said, yeah, we got to sign them. I'm like, sign them? You're like, yeah, they wanted some autographs. You I'm like, saw they the want all, all they wanted it signed. Oh, I'm not disputing it. I'm just saying it caught me off guard. I'm like, they really? They want all autographs? So, anyways, for real? If you're listening tonight, sure if you're listening to the show, I'm not going to put this up on the websites. I'm not going to put it up on Facebook. But if you're listening tonight and you missed out on that, that Sunday Monday deal that we did on Facebook, I'll extend it to you guys only tonight. Uh, webmaster at ProWrestlingScoops.com. Shoot me an email right now. Uh, you guys can PayPal me and uh, and we'll get it done. Uh, but I'm not going to put it up on Facebook. The next deal where we'll where we'll offer that again will be around Thanksgiving or Christmas. So we'll hook it up. Webmaster at ProWrestlingScoops.com. But a lot of T-shirts, a lot of people, man, look at them. a lot of people worldwide are going to be wearing, are going to be supporting. WZR TV Tuesday nights. Look, look how good they look on here, man. You gotta get um, your shirts while they still last. Which is awesome. Uh, um, how about the celebrity hacking thing? All the nude photos that came out. How crazy is that? I don't know what you're talking about. Kate Upton and and all these nude photos of celebrities came out. Uh, somebody hacked it. It was yeah. crazy. Uh, I knew about the Joan Rivers thing. I, I heard about that celebrity thing. I didn't hear about the naked stuff. Now here's the problem. We're gonna get into Monday Night Raw here in just a couple minutes, right? I didn't see I, UFC. Like no, uh, raw. we don't talk about UFC canceling their main event the day before the show. At no, some we can talk about that. But Monday Night Raw last <laughs> night, you got. I was on my one computer, and I've got the draft up on that computer. I'm turning over here to the side. I've got the laptop, right? I got the laptop. I'm doing your draft because you're yes. doing you're doing play by play, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing your draft, uh, drafting two teams, basically my team and Boone's team. I'm going back and forth. I had Raw on in the background so I could hear what was yeah. being said, but I didn't see it. That's me every week. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't never see know it. what's going on. So you're going to have to carry me. I didn't see it either. I mean, I heard it just like you did, but I was yeah, paying attention, so I'll, yeah, I'll probably at least be you were able to look yeah, over no. you. And I, was and I was paying attention. Stop. You were focused on something else. And the way that the draft is set up, you had the third or fourth pick last night. And I was like seven or eight, so it was like there was no downtime. You changed. I was the third, you were the first, and then right. I became the fourth, you became the seventh or eighth. Right, yeah. right. So anyways. So, um, but the point is, they were separated far enough apart that it's always your turn. Oh, your turn or my turn, turn, which is all your turn. And they were fast during that draft last night, man. It was bang, 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 bang. He had it set to 60 seconds. Steady. We did ours for 90, which is a minute and a half. Yeah. That's pretty fucking quick, right? He did 60 seconds. I said, Jesus, man. You ain't even giving it enough time. All right, here we go. Uh, let's get these plugs out of the way, and then we'll move on to Monday Night Raw from last night. Our numero dos taking the live phone calls and doing rapid fire. The official home of WZR TV Tuesdays, WZROnline.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army, YouTube.com slash WZR Archive, and Twitter as well. Go to WZROnline.com, top navigation bar, social media tab, drop down menu. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZROnline.com, the official home of WZRTV Tuesdays. Got okay, that one up, huh? That was pretty bad. Um, what else? What else? Live chat room on and in progress. Where Lots are you? You all right? I'm asking the same about you. I'm fucking all You're quiet. I got energy over here. I'm I've, killing it I've tonight. I've interrupted you 80 times already. I'm doing killing just it fine. Tonight. You're sitting here. What's the chat room? Don't I fucked up my plug. No, just now. Oh. Get some pep in your step. What are you talking about? I thought you had that gross shit covered up, by the way. What the fuck, man? No. Look yeah, how yeah. oozing it is. What I do you mean? No. I put medicine on it. You had bandages all over it. Yeah. And you should have left them on. That's I disgusting. Shouldn't, I shouldn't bring this up, but we got a crew. We got a crew coming into this house um, within the next couple of weeks, man. They are, uh, yeah, we've got uh, bed bugs um, that oh. we spotted uh, a couple of weeks ago. We've got to take everything and put it up. You know what happened? Do you remember Cadence, Haley's friend, little friend? She was over here the one day. Where I remember I her having friends over. 
their dogs came up here, right? We babysat their dogs. Oh, that's for one that one Daisy day. beat the shit out of when they first got yes. here. Yes, <laughs> I remember we babysat that. Them. <laughs> Daisy, the man. Listen, we babysat <coughs> their dogs for one day, and then they tell Allison. They call Allison and they say, "Hey, we've got bed bugs in our house." Then why the fuck did we take your dog and babysit it so the dogs brought the bed bugs in here? So now every morning I'm waking up. Me too. Are you all my itchy? Back. More yeah. Mostly, yeah. You're all itchy and these bed bugs. Allison showed me the other day. She had a tissue and there's a bed bug right under this. So they gotta cut. They gotta have a crew come in here. We've gotta take everything out of the rooms, put them up high, and they've gotta spray. It's a whole fuck. I don't even know. It's a whole thing. All because we babysat their dogs. We. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Not us, but yeah. they're not there. Anyways, uh, so, here we go. Let's get into it, right? Monday Night Raw from uh, last night. Top Des Moines, to Iowa. Bottom. I gotta say, top to bottom, Whoosh. there were a lot of people. Uh, Did you like it? I didn't really see it. Oh, I thought you were rather defended. From what I heard... Uh, it was bad, bad. It right? Was one of the, it was one of the. I can't say worst, but what's the, what's another word? Batter isn't a word. What's what's one of those kind of words? It was one of the less good shows in a while. Like I can't, terrible. It was no. Nah, see, that's like making it sound like it was the worst. It was one of the atrocious. No, no these are all know, like I very know, bad. Know, I'm I saying know. it was like on the low end of what's normal. Hmm. Like it was worse than usual. Below average. Below average. That below average. average. It was below average. It wasn't a good one, and uh, you know what? I mean, for the record, what I mean by that is average usually sucks as it is. Yeah. <laughs> this was worse than that, you know. All right. A bunch of people came out on Twitter. I think Matt Hardy went on a rant. He uh, did. Bobby Roode he, came out. He did. <laughs> um, Steve Austin uh, yeah, blasted. No. Yeah. Well, he didn't. He said yeah, so he the same, He says the same thing on his podcast all the time. I wish I could see a mean streak in Roman Reigns. Back when Damian Sandow was getting over in the beginning of the year with the briefcase. I wish I could see a mean streak. And, you know, he always wants guys to improve their work. Right. In the ring, specifically. Right. But, go ahead. Especially with the high def. You know, everybody's got a high def these days. And I think what Austin was saying is sell the headbutts, you know, because when you're watching that yeah. on a high well, def. this thing is always lay it in more. Probably yeah. one of those is the reasons. It's like right. it's not like our days where it's a shitty little small. Everybody's got big screen high def TVs and everybody well, right up on. Right. You better lay that shit in so it looks right. good. You know. Well, that's what I, I mean. I got the TV in there with the high def, and you'll be watching the news or something like that, and you can see even with all the you makeup. You can see an ant fart. Yeah, right. You can see a pimple on her face even with all the makeup. Oh, you're like, oh, a fucking pimple right there, you know. But uh, <coughs> so top to bottom. It was it was not a good show. A lot of people came out like we were talking about on Twitter and were just blah. the the Bella segment was awesome though. <laughs> uh, I, I even wrote a whole column about that. Even this week I can't defend. It. Well, last <laughs> week last week you didn't say the segment was great. No, you I never said, even said it was good. I said, said had my Bella. No, Nikki Bella I thought was okay last week. I mm -hmm. thought I, I even said good. I'll admit it. In, hi in hindsight, I, I, might, I was probably pretty I drunk. Thought, I thought Nikki was she okay. wasn't bad. She wasn't bad. But she wasn't good. She wasn't she good. Did the thing. I mean, she had a fucking lot of stuff to say, and they scripted, so she had to remember, you know. Right. She's not a good actress, so considering the circumstances, I thought she delivered her, her, her shit pretty well. Right. This week, no. No. Um, you know what else? worse was those segments, the growing up Bella. Oh, Jesus. That was the, yeah. I wrote a column with a very bad, hokey, oh. hacky pun. Yeah. My column name was throwing up Bella. <laughs> Instead of growing Thanks up Bella. selling the lab. Right. It heard was it good. It ago. was good. Uh, but because it's so bad, it makes me want to puke. Yeah. 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 So. Um, I, I made a very tasteless joke know, about Brie Bella. I said, I said they shouldn't have, shouldn't have called it growing up Bella. They should have called it throwing up Bella. And not because Brie Bella looks like a bulimic, but because the segment was so bad, it makes you want to puke. Right, right, So right. the bulimic comment might have... Yeah, My sister yeah. could be a bulimic, by the way. She's probably some watching, hate some hate she's probably watching and like, man, why would you say that? But nobody knows you, Jamie. Don't worry about it. But my point is, I've had it's it in my family. Comment, it's kind of like, you know, if you're a Jewish guy and you make fun of Jews, you're allowed to because you're Jewish. Yes. Like Sasha Baron Cohen can say, throw the Jew down the well if you because wanna, he's Jewish. If you want to go that route, it's the same thing with black people. Calling each other nigga. Yeah, exactly. Right. Same exact thing right. is because you could say, so my sister's a bulimic, or used to be, not anymore, but because she used to be, I feel comfortable making a, a bulimic reference. It wasn't you a get joke. into all races. You open up all races. Yeah, to yeah. I'm going to get some bulimic emails. <laughs> you heartless bastard. But you know what the problem I had with, with the, the 
the Bella Twins segment is they kept airing a video package from the previous week, right? And it came across as so... And they aired it like three or four different times where Brie Bella's like, Why? Why are you doing this to me? Uh, Nikki, yeah. why? And Nikki was stop like... Stop it, Brie! Oh. Nikki, stop! And Nikki says, You are... You are not a part of the family anymore. I That's wish it. you died in the womb. And they kept. They Don't say that. Re, they re, Don't say that, Nikki. They replayed this shit over uh, and over and ooh. over throughout Raw, bro. It was so chills <laughs> crawling all up my shit watching it last night, man. It was bad, man. And then we got to the segment itself. Ah, Madonna. <laughs> I think I uh, about Stephanie and AJ and Paige. I think to try and to try to at save least it. put a couple performers <laughs> that are female that can actually do some stuff on a microphone and in front of a camera. But it still came off as a. I thought this segment was even worse than last week's segment with the yeah, two Bellas. It I was thought. bad because, like you said, bad. last week Nikki even she wasn't good, but she wasn't terrible or bad or anything. Right. This week it was just a fucking total train wreck. They they were terrible. And I thought there was way. those growing up so, uh, Bellas. There was three of those. Throughout the night, different ones. One was about Bree stealing her high school boyfriend. One oh, was about Jesus, this the and car that. crash. The car crash in the car and everything. Here, else. give me your right, license. Right. I took her license and blamed it on right. her. Yeah, all that shit. How has Stephanie McMahon lost some weight? No. No? It was what she was wearing. I know what you mean, though. The jeans, she looked yeah. hot last it's night. From here thing. up, can you see yeah. it? From the waist up, she's like built like a linebacker. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Right, right. But right. she's always had pretty awesome legs, trust me. I never, she she looked a lot taller, and I know she was wearing those heels. big heels, yeah. you know, last night. But uh, she looked good last night, man. I like that. She looked jeans. damn good, and and the only thing that I did like about those constant flashbacks to last week's Bella segment mm -hmm. was Nikki looked fine in that <laughs> dress last week. Yeah, you see, I'm a bigger fan of Brie. We talk about it every I week. I am too, in general. You like the titties, from right? here up, Brie's prettier, yeah. which is weird to say because they're identical twins. But right. Brie has a prettier face. Nikki Bell's Nikki's body. a little bit chubbier. No. And I know she had the breast implants, but she's chubbier in the face. Maybe in the face. Nikki's oh, a little that bit chubbier dress, in the face. Dress, she was the perfect hourglass with the big fucking tits. She's hot. Unbelievable. She's hot, dude, no doubt. Uh, no, I, wanted no, to just, I wanted to just, I wanted to eat something off of her body looking at that dress. I just, give me some anything. Pour it on her and I'm eating it. Really? Like, put it this way. What I, what, like, I'm trying to think of stuff I hate. Like, you made rice the other night for dinner. I hate yeah. rice. Dump some rice on her. I'm eating that fucking rice. Yeah? Like, goddamn, like, it's beef jerky. What about, uh... I like beef jerky. What about if I gave you, like, some sushi? If I put some sushi on top of them titties and just let you kind of... Well, wait, if I get, get right in there... Yes, I would, absolutely. Would you? I hate sushi. What's the grossest food that you There's can no find? food you can put on it. If I'm allowed to put my tongue on her tits... Yeah? I'm eating that you food. You still gonna get right in there? I'm eating that food. I might not eat it. I might, you know, move around it, you know, like... Would you, accidentally would, you gag? Out of the way. would you gag? That, that would be bad. bad. <laughs> that would it would always make me look gay too if I'm like, you know, making out with her beautiful face. Right, and and you are gay. <laughs> yeah. That wouldn't look good out of context at all. No. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Monday Night Raw from Des Moines. Uh, happy Labor Day, by the way. God, Labor Day is supposed to be a day off where hard working Not for men us. and women <clears throat> men and women around the United States of America is it an national or uh, worldwide holiday? I know it's national. I know it's national. I don't, know. I don't think right. it's worldwide. But it Coming. could be, I don't know. Anyways, the uh, raw rating is uh, delayed by the by the way due because to that. of that. Yeah. So uh, they kicked off Monday Night Raw. They advertised this uh, earlier in the day. Chris Jericho's highlight reel open Monday Night Raw. Of course, the draft started right here, right now, and uh, you're gonna have to help draft. me. Draft all the fantasy fantasy football. football. You're just gonna have to help me throughout well, Raw. Chris Kinda. Jericho came out with a scarf. scarf. All right. <laughs> did you see the scarf he was wearing? I did not. He's wearing a goofy ass scarf, and he was dressed up. And he starts cutting his promo. He doesn't get two seconds into it. King of Kings plays. Oh, everybody came out here. Right, all the authority right. came out. Triple A, except for Stephen. Triple H, Randy Orton, Kane, Seth Rollins, all in suits. Mm -hmm. Came down to the ring. Triple H and Jericho started going back and forth. Uh, some of it seemed unscripted, too. Like impromptu shots at each other. Yeah. Like yeah. insults. Yeah. Well, I, I remember Jericho. There was one line that I remember from Jericho where he said something about, I'm too small. Or something like that. There was there was one line, and and there's always been a thing where when Chris Jericho first came into WWE, Triple H thought that I'm he trying was to too find small. the line here. What you're Triple H thought that he was too small and he'd never become a main eventer. This, that, and the other thing, right? 
Isn't there know. a story about that? Where yeah, 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 yeah. Well, not he even, wasn't high on, on Jericho? Yeah, not even so much small, just that he wasn't like a main event player. He was kind of right. like the, 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 although they didn't, you know, you know what? I think that was where the Daniel Bryan thing came from. Behind the scenes, it was said, no, he's a solid B-plus player. Guys yeah, like yeah, Jericho, right. guys like RVD, guys like right. Edge. Yep. They would label them with that B-plus thing. No, they're a great, you know, second from the top kind of act. Right, right. But they'll never carry the company. Mm-hmm. You know, and mm-hmm. then Paul Heyman took over, you know, the book for SmackDown and immediately right. made them fucking main eventers. Yep. And yep. showed, you know, showed WWE, here's showed how you use these this guys. This is how you take a guy Here's how you use them. Size yeah. and... and well, not even the size. Just there's how you use <coughs> this guy and here's what you do with him to make him... You know, right. he's been in your company 10 years, like Edge, for example. And you haven't realized or, or noticed that this guy could be the fucking and guy. This guy can be it. You know what right, I mean? Right. And, and Heyman showed him the way. How good, if you haven't how seen good that, is Paul Heyman, bro? He's, <laughs> he's so everybody good. says it. Jim Ross says it. Steve Austin says it. Everybody's podcast, they all say he's cutting some of the best promos in the history Absolutely. of wrestling. Absolutely. And that's a fucking big statement, man. I mean, if you go back and watch, you know, Ric Flair, Roddy Piper promos, Dusty Rhodes promos, you go, you know, The Rock and Austin and that era, if you go through the history and you say, and now, are they as entertaining? Yeah. Maybe not as entertaining as a Flair going nuts, or a right. Dusty, you know, talking jive. Do you agree? Do you Rocky agree with that statement? being funny and entertaining. Heyman, as far as being an effective character, driving home a point, like really being a perfect Right. Heel character, promo cutting, machine. No stuttering, nothing like that. Smooth, I mean, just smooth, gets the yep. point across. Yep. Whatever his goal is. If, if his goal is, I want you guys to fucking hate Lesnar, right. you're going to hate him. If I want you guys to look forward to this match, you're going to look for whatever his goal is, mm-hmm. whatever he's going out and holding a microphone. And, and, and the idea, Heyman, is to get this across. Mm-hmm. By the time he walked back through the curtain, not only did he get that across, he got other eight other things across. Well, it really sold home the main thing. And you know what? It's it's little things like my name is Paul Heyman. Yeah. Little things like that. Well, no, the way he draws a promo. A name right, is right. Paul Heyman, right. Right. and I'm the advocate right, right, for right. the rock. Lesnar, you know, he, he's, he's such an asshole. Little things like that. And it's man, funny because Scott he Hall, when he was telling his old story about Vince McMahon, kind of him and them working on the Razor Ramon character, and I won't tell the whole thing, but just this part, where if you remember the Razor Ramon character, he used to say, "Everybody, listen to me, to me." Yeah, and, and, and the way Vince he did would this, say, to me. he would say, "Hang on, hang on," so that the fans are like. All right, jackass, shut up and say it. You know, like, we right. get it. Shut right. up. Come on, you know, <laughs> right, right, come on already. Right. So yeah, it was... Uh, Heyman right. does that with that extending the syllables and so emphasizing... You, you know. So you agree with, with people like Austin that say... I mean, I agree. Oh, my I, God. I think so. Paul Heyman... Best of all time? No. What's the best thing on Raw every week? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, right now? Paul Heyman, bro. Head and shoulders above right. everybody I on agree. the microphone. I agree. Not even there's not even anybody in his league. Nobody comes close. Punk was in his league when right. he was around, mm-hmm. but he's gone. There's mm-hmm. nobody even in the league under him. You know what I mean? Like he's two or three at levels above everybody's work on the mic. I mean, who would be? But if you're talking best Heyman. of all time, yeah, not best of all time. No, I'm up not, there I'm though. Up uh, there. Oh, Heyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, his yeah. work currently. It's probably his best work of his career and among the top. Whatever of all time. You gotta put Rock as the best of all time, I would say. Where uh, Rock or Piper. Uh, Heenan was up Dusty. there. Bobby Heenan back in the day was, was up Heenan there. wasn't well. so much of a promo guy as he was. A man- I mean, he was when he was a manager for a while. Yeah, though, he was playing the role of Paul Heyman. I mean, Bobby Heenan was a manager back in the yeah, day. Yeah, no, no, Paul no. He was the, the, the Heenan family, Rock. absolutely. Yeah. But uh, I think he his. Dusty brought up Dusty. Heenan was more famous for his work with Gorilla Monsoon as like a one two combo. Right. Kind of like they would host shows or they would do comedy. Commentary for wrestling events, but and he was great in that. And he did a great at WCW too. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, the, the first Nitro, which is topical because they just added Nitro to the WWE yeah. Network. Yeah, 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 it took place at the Mall of America in Minneapolis, Minnesota, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Lex Luger shows up unannounced. Was just at a WWE live event Sunday night. Right. Monday night, he's on Nitro. He yeah. went from WWE wow. to Nitro overnight. Yeah. Screw WWE. Didn't tell him. Nobody knew. Well, he just shows up and stands there, and the reaction on commentary, what? Get the camera off of him. Right. What right, is he right. doing there? What does he even say? What? He's got a right to be here. This is a public mall. Because <laughs> they're in the Mall of America. Right, right, right. What? He's got a right to be here. 
to be here. That's a public moment. Manon's the fucking man. Remember yeah, when? Uh, uh, remember when D. Malenko and Perry Saturday and, and those guys? Just okay. save that thought. Okay. Okay. It's two seconds. Real quick, and, I, and we've probably said this before. Bobby Heenan, first person ever that we interviewed. I interviewed. Was him, he the first? Ever? I interviewed him by myself. Okay. So, and we put it on the websites, and then we would re-air it later. That was the first interview. First guy I interviewed. Yeah. Ever. And then it was it was the first interview we aired on the show, because it was already taped, and I had already played it. It was, like right. a, month, it was right. a month old by this point. Yeah. But I aired it on the show and promoted it as, oh, Bobby Heenan's on the show tonight. I, but I remember interviewing Heenan as well. So we no, we got there. him again. Okay. Yeah, 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 we got because him again. Because when I interviewed him, we brought up somebody's name, and he does it in all interviews. Well, he used to be able I mean, he's in real bad shape, can't talk. Have you seen pictures of him yeah, lately? It's not it's good. It's so fucking sad. He's got to use a, uh, a chalkboard to... Yeah, his to, throat to is a Oh, God. But, um, and Joan Rivers, how about that? Joan Rivers. I brought that up a minute ago. You know, uh, sold me. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, uh, get well soon, the Hermit. I like Joan, you know? Joan's, uh, Joan's I awesome. I love people that tell it like it well, is. Joan, and, and for Joan. a while, was going to be the next Johnny Carson before Leno. Yeah. She was the full time. Well, Leno, or Carson hated her, right? Be- she was the full time guest host. Uh-huh. For the Tonight Show, because Johnny, towards the end of his career, would take full weeks off. Right. And he would have, like, Jay Leno was the guest host for a bunch of shows. Joan Rivers ended up becoming the permanent. No, Leno became the permanent. But before him, Joan Rivers was the, the main was guest Joan. host. Right. And then she ended up going to Fox, because Rupert Murdoch wanted to have a, a, a late night talk show to go against the Tonight Show. And right. And without telling Johnny or getting his blessing, uh, he was like the godfather that's back what then. pissed him off. He okay. was like, you didn't even call okay. me and tell me, you know, okay. and I let you be the host of my show. That's why they want you as a, a host. Did, where did I hear this story recently? Joan came and told that story about how Johnny Carson could not stand her. She's talking about towards Stern the end of their, uh, Maybe that's... I could have been know. Stern. I don't know. I don't know. She's talking anyway. a lot. Yeah, that story. But anyways, uh, one last thing before we get back into uh, Monday Night Raw. we got about 15 minutes. We'll get through Raw. Come back on the flip side. Take your rapid-fire questions. Do your live phone calls. Talk the news, rumors. Got to talk UFC from uh, over the weekend as well. Yeah. A lot of big UFC stuff. Would you put Hogan up there as one of the best talkers ever? No. You wouldn't. Okay. I know a lot of people put him and Savage in there. Yeah. No, no. Not Hogan, right? No. It's the same basic lines over and over. I'm talking people. I would say I've got to put Austin, or I've got to put Rock Austin one, two. I, I've got to. And then. I mean, you could say that. I don't. Yeah, you I put, don't. Who do you put up? Who do you put out of Rock? Number who's, one. Who's the best ever. Rick Flair. Rock. Rick Flair? I had a Rock? Uh, Rick Flair. I had a Rock? I had a Rock. What? Rock was very funny and entertaining, but I think Ric Flair was the best effective promo guy. Plus, really? I think if you mix effectiveness with entertainment, Flair's the man. Let, let, now, let, the us, know that, let us know in the chat room, too, real quick. Guys. Here, th- that's what I'm saying. What do you consider to be the best promo? Now, ask me this question. Who do I consider to be the most entertaining promo of all time? You're going to say Rock. The Rock. Okay. Although, Ric Flair's right fucking there. With entertainment too, when he Rick gets worked up with the, the women, dropping the elbows on books, and I'll, you know, I'll meet your mother at the hotel. And yeah, like he'll shirt down and into his underwear and start dropping elbows on the mat with nothing there. You know, yeah. I, I would say I would say Rock mm-hmm. number one, Austin number two, Flair number three is the order I. I would go Flair, Rock, Rock, Piper, Piper out of Austin. Pi- Piper, Piper you got to throw Piper up there, man. You you're right. Know, yo, that's you why I hate Piper that you're, you two are such good friends, and he always kisses your ass in public. He wants to talk man. to me. Did you see the uh, the message? You told me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't you talk to him? I'm waiting for him to call. Oh, I thought he asked you to call him. He didn't want to call yesterday because it was Labor Day. Okay. It was Labor Day. He didn't want to bother the family. So he says that he's just, he, what was his word? He got, he, he's, he's back at home resting after a tour with Satan. This is what Flair? it was. Uh, Piper said this. About Flair? No, I've got the email on that from Piper. Tour with Satan. Who's Satan? No, he's been on tour. Piper's been out the last couple of weeks. Yeah, well, he who's Satan? That, he did the raw... But he's basically saying that the recent tour that he's been on, he compares it to Satan, basically saying oh, okay. this has been it was hell. a hell. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a tour Hellacious. from hell. A tour from hell. But, um... So, you guys in the chat, what are they saying? They're, they put Punk up there. I, I don't know. He put Punk's number six. Oh, number six. Punk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my no, I did my a bad. whole, uh, I think I did the top 25 promo guys in history as an ingresslingnews.com yeah. column. I did multiple parts, but, yeah. uh, and I might have even put Brock number one. I think I put Flair number one, but I don't remember. I might have put Piper number one. Right. I, I mean, Andy, Andy's uh, 114 has, you know, Rock Punk Flair. Somebody's got the Dudleys in there. Get out of here. I mean, they're oh, good, but 
they're not in the best of all time. I so mean, you, your tag teams there might be the best tag team. So probably. you're going, you're going Flair, Rock, and uh, Piper as your. I'm top. going Flair, Rock, Rock Piper, Piper for top three. Top three. Flair, Rock, Piper. Well, see, because then I'm leaving out Overall, Austin. Overall, I'm leaving out Austin. I'm leaving out Heyman. So and if I, uh, uh, Heyman and but they get the gist of it. That's where we're. It's hard. Five, it's six, a really hard seven. thing, to, and you got to put Vince in there. Well, somebody said Vince. In the you got to put yeah. Vince McMahon in Vince there. Is up there. Absolutely. Too. And as much as people don't like it, and I think Triple H was like number twenty something on my list. <laughs> was he that far down? Yeah. But I mean, if you yeah. really get into it, there's You're a lot right. of great guys. Triple H is a damn good promo. You don't get enough credit. I agree. All right, back to uh, Monday Night Raw. So the highlight reel segment leads us to, is this where they confirm the, the main event for later yes, tonight? which okay. made no sense because the whole point of this segment was Triple H came out, like I said, with the uh, the authority and pretty much said, you know, him and Jericho trade insults. And he said, Jericho, you're going to thank me in a second because I'm about to make this the most historical highlight reel of all time. Right. And he says he's been re-watching this Cena-Lesnar match from SummerSlam a thousand fucking times. <laughs> and he's come to the conclusion that Cena challenging oh, Lesnar right. might not be best for business at Night of Champions. So you're expecting him to pretty... I mean, I'm sitting there thinking, holy shit, they're about to change the Night of Champions main event. Yeah, yeah. And they never did. Right. And somehow this led to a six-man tag, and somehow that'll let them know who should face Lesnar. And but they left it open where they could change the Night of Champions match. Not after the show ended, no, because Cena got the pin. He was the guy pointing at Triple H. Yeah, like he it was, was the guy pointing at Triple H, but they've still got the whole lawsuit thing. Triple H could come out next week on, on Raw, Raw and... and Cena said he was going to file a lawsuit. He said, if I don't get the title match, yeah. Right. But Triple H's whole thing was, whoever impresses me the most in this match... And Cena was the guy And he was, like, even when Cena held Kane up for the attitude adjustment, he pointed at Triple H before he dropped him. Right. And then afterwards, he's, you know, fucking with, you know, so... And he's the guy that scored the pin. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Are you not really picking Lesnar? I'm still, I mean... Because if you're not, we have to make some kind of a bet for this. Because I'll bet anything at one. Uh, you gotta give me. You gotta give me a couple of weeks. I want you to put your hat for a full. Uh, you won't do a full show. Give me five minutes with no hat on the air. I'm not. Uh, if if less, no, I'm not going to talk for some it's not that Obvious. I'm not confident. Oh, okay. I've said week after week. I am not confident. I just don't see how they're going to. I was going to say, you had me spend an hour explaining myself a couple weeks ago, and I kept telling you, it's not my idea, and nor do I I, agree with it, but I I know this is what they're doing. We came... I agree with it now, that they've done the mania, taker, ending the streak, squashing Cena at SummerSlam. Once they did those two things, I agree, you have to keep it a We both agree. At the end of that debate, you and I both agreed where I just, I don't see how... With Lesnar's schedule that they can go. I mean, uh, listen, we've talked about it. Yeah. Yeah, it is I heard a comment about that, too. Um, one thing WWE should do with Brock Lesnar's champion, HeWrestlingNews.com, it's basically Check elevate the IS, uh, IC US titles. Make right. those titles more important because they're the only titles, men's titles, that are available. Jim Same Ross list. wrote a blog today and basically This column was last week. The U.S. and the IC. Class. Last week I wrote this column. Jim Ross stole it from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I no, wrote you, that shit last week. Right. You've had a while. Yeah. You've had a while. But uh, all right. Here we go. So it comes out. So John Cena basically comes out here right after Triple H says that may not be best for business. Yeah. Yeah. Cena so comes out and then Cena Reigns comes, out, comes he's, out. He's unhappy. And, yeah. Roman uh, Reigns comes out too. So and that's when they make. Oh, right, you three guys. You three guys. Whoever impresses me the know. most. Yeah. There you go. All right. Uh, then we had uh, Miz and Cesaro against uh, Ziggler and Sheamus in a uh, in a tag team match. We had uh, uh, that was my beef too. Like I said, you got to make the IC and US title seem more important. Miz is sitting out there with Damian Mizdow, a yeah. makeup artist. This and that. He's supposed to be the second most. Oh, coveted. they did Damian Mizdow again. They did this it again. Week? He's uh, like part of his faction, oh. and, and he was a stunt man. And then, like at one point when he was getting tagged in, he said, "No, no, no, Sandow, you go in." Sandow takes the gaudy, awful white suit that Miz wears. Sandow right. was wearing it too. Right. He takes the suit off. He goes to go in. The ref doesn't allow it. But yeah. you know, I'm just saying, it looks so gimmicky and hokey. It screams jobber comedy mid card act. Yeah. yeah. When the IC and US title should at this point right now. Absolutely. Because like you said, with yeah. Lesnar, how do they get to make these are the only titles you're having on house shows? Nice. These are the only titles you're having on TV, and worse yet, these are the only titles you're having on pay per view. Gotta make them look like they mean something. On pay per view, yeah. even. These are gonna be the only men's singles titles available for several pay per views if Lesnar holds it all the way to Mini. You gotta make these something. titles mean something. Yeah, and a line that I put in, in the end of my column, and, and it was, I'm really proud of that column. I wish you guys would check it out. ERSMNews.com. Uh, one thing, right it's called One Thing WWE Should Do with Brock Lesnar as Champion. Picture is an IC belt. But, um, 
I told a story about how when I was a kid, I was jumping the trampoline, and I bought the replica IC title belt. Everybody did back in the day. But right? I, bought the, I bought the replica IC title belt because I thought that, A, was the coolest looking belt, and right. B, <laughs> the best wrestlers held it because yeah. when I was a kid, yeah. Bret Hart, Mr. Perfect, Shawn mm-hmm. Michaels was the IC champ. The one champ. Hot man? That was before. No, I mean, I was no. really young then. But uh, right. Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, uh, uh, Mr. Perfect. Mm-hmm. The world champion was like Yokozuna. Yeah. Diesel. Yeah. Right. You know, like right. shit workers. And right. even as a kid, right. I could tell who was the best guys. You know what I mean? But yeah. my point is, I wrote a line at the end of the column and I said, there should be four months from now. I'll just throw out a number. I didn't say a time frame, but I should say, I said, there should be a time when John Cena or Randy Orton, people of this caliber, should be able to say on a promo, I'm not going to stop until I get that intercontinental title mm-hmm. around mm-hmm. my waist. Because if they said it now, you'd laugh your ass off and say, pull it. <laughs> right. you'd look at them, I think I said that in the cut. You'd look at them like they have four heads. Like, right. really? Right. John Cena wants what the is- IC belt? Why right. the fuck would he want that? Right. And that's a bad... Why, would he, why the fuck would he want that? Why should somebody say, why the fuck would he want the second best title in the company? You gotta the make these titles the seem like... The IC and US title don't mean anything. And that's all they've got until Lesnar mm-hmm. drops it. And right. that's, the next, that's the rest of this year and the Agreed. beginning part of next year. So they gotta Agreed. make those titles mean more. And having makeup artists and stuntmen, Damian yeah, Mizdow... The, what was the deal with... That doesn't uh, make them seem more important. Who, what's, what's the makeup artist thing last night or wrong? I don't know. Is that a backstage segment? No, it was during the match. Miz, some, Miz sat in a fucking, like, a direct... You know, have a, the movie chairs with the name on the back and the star? Right. He's sitting on a chair like that, ringside, the makeup artist is... You know, touching the During the match? Yeah. Oh, good. Because it was a tag match. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he's sitting, you know, but... So what? Uh, Miz made Cesaro work most of the match when well, he got yeah. touched up by and the And then, makeup. yeah, when it was his okay. turn, no, stuntman, you go in, you know. Oh. I don't know, I mean, he works on the match, but when someone either hit him in the face or was about to, I don't I was half paying attention. But it so was Ziggler jobs out here, right? Skull crushing finale, Miz comes in at yeah, the Miz end. Yeah, Miz came in at the end. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, we had uh, Total Divas. God, there were promos. This, that, and the other thing throughout the show. That's what I heard in the background. But there was a Divas match. It was uh, Layla, Naomi, and Summer Rae uh, defeated the team of Rosa Mendez and Eva Marie and, and Cameron. Cameron. Say that team again. Oh, God. Say that second team Rosa again. Rosa Mendez. Woo! Rosa Mendez. Mendez, Eva Marie, and Cameron. Is that a joke? Yes. It's not a joke. It's got to be a worse. It's got to be some sort of rib, man. Of course. Man. You're putting three of the worst Divas you've got on the roster. That is it against three of the best divas? No. Layla? No, Summer Rae. Huh, no. Right. I mean, Naomi. I'm say Summer Rae's Natalia okay. Natalia in there. Summer Rae's okay. It's decent. And Naomi's one of the best in the if, company. If you had Natalia, uh, Alicia Fox. No, no. If you had Natalia, Natalia, Naomi, and AJ Lee. There you go. That would be there the, you go. the three. Something like that. Yeah, or there Paige. You know. Or Paige, right. All right, we but had... they were busy uh, with the Bellas and stuff. Well, <laughs> More Lord. on that later. Good Lord. Uh, uh, we had uh, Mark <laughs> Henry and the Big Show. They've been teaming those two yeah, up. Yeah, uh, we can sum up this in another segment later real quick. Okay. Henry, Big Show versus Harper and Rowan. Ends in a DQ. Kind of match didn't mean anything. Later in the show, during the Rusev segment, which we'll get into in a minute, um, Mark Henry comes out after the match and kind of punks Rusev out. Rusev kind of backs down and runs away from him. La- Lena had cut a promo before this. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another day. Day. I'm just, We're running down a few seconds. Well, that's, that's what I said. This okay. is just this part, the, okay. the Mark Henry Big okay. Show part. I said we could cross right. those two together. My bad. Uh, save time. With all right. Just all right. My bad. <laughs> Good. Go on. Uh, but yeah, after all the, the Rusev stuff, um, you know, Henry comes out, pretty much punks him out. Rusev runs away from him, doesn't want no part of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then after that, we go backstage, and Big Show and Henry are talking, and Big Show's like, man, we have a chance here to go after these tag titles. Why the fuck? And Henry's like, no, man, i got to defend the country. i got to defend my... And Big Show's like, you know what? You're right. You're I, right. Got, I got you You're back. Right. You know, whatever okay. you need, I'll support you. And Henry's like, no, i got to do this on my own, you know, for my country, you know, and all that stuff. Right. So that was, you know... Are they going to lead to a Big Show? Like big It looks show like we're getting Henry and Rusev at uh but, at but, Night of but as the storyline plays out, is Big Show going to keep coming out and interfering and kind of costing Mark Henry I the I think what will happen, and, and then they're going to wind You're really asking me to guess now, but what I, based on that one segment, Big Show says... Yo, I'll be out there and help you. I'll do whatever. Henry I think says, maybe, I want, I want to maybe do it Big myself. Show will try and help Henry, even Henry. though Henry said, no, I want to do it yes. myself. Big Show will try and help Henry, maybe cost him the match. Screws Henry turns over. heel and beats yeah. the fuck out of Big Show. That goes after Night of Champions, that's, Henry Big Show program. Yeah. 
Yeah, I didn't think of that until you asked me, and then I started in my head, yeah. like, yeah, that makes sense. Just because of that one line backstage where you said, I want to yeah. do it myself, and that's kind of your tease. But that, that's the typical Ryan Clark that's looking way into no, one little thing. But it makes, thing. It's, 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 it makes do, sense. They do a tease. That like one makes that, sense. Maybe Big Show will come yeah. out and try to help him, right? Um, what else do we have? Uh, hey, Paul Heyman promo. Yeah. We got a Paul Heyman promo. I didn't where, really uh, about this. It was very basic. He comes out, uh, talks about Cena's title uh, contention uh, for the Night of Champions pay-per-view. Uh, basically says that Cena is desperate to maintain the image of being the fan's hero and, and you know, he's the guy and he's popular among kids, this, that, and the other thing. Um, he says, come Night of Champions, Lesnar is going to destroy John Cena. Now, at this point, didn't we not know that John Cena wasn't the match off? So Heyman's got this promo. It was, it, was, it was Triple H basically said he hadn't decided yet. So we didn't know if it was off or on. It was up in the air. But Heyman was still going with yeah. the match. Well, but if you well. listen, uh, or if you read, uh, Heyman said in his promo, Cena's going to run through everybody in that match tonight because running through everybody is... Okay. Or everybody in the locker room is not a new thing for Cena. That's what he does. But Lesnar... Or he says what also is isn't new is Lesnar... It's a different is, animal. Is Lesnar destroying Cena... Lesnar's not part of that locker room. You right, know what I mean? Cena right. can run through the locker room, but he ain't running through Lesnar. You know what I mean? That, that was kind of the gist. Gotcha. That was the idea to get across. And he got it across, like we said earlier. He's gold, like gold bro. He's fucking again. gold, man. He's awesome. We although, had a swagger. Although not everybody picked up on it. You know what I mean? Swagger and, uh, <laughs> and, and Curtis Axel. We can skip that, right? Nothing. Did anything uh, I think that was there? the Rusev shit after that. Oh, that was the Rusev. Or was it? No. Zeb Coulter returned with uh, yeah, he, with yeah. Zeb Coulter night. returned. Uh, Bo Dallas was the shit after this. Up, up on the stage, I think this was right here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, up uh, on the stage during the match, Bo Dallas came out, and there was these three fans sitting in chairs at the top of the stage, and mm-hmm. you're thinking, what the fuck's going on here? After the match, Bo Dallas gets on the mic. This guy, I, did, I remember. This, this guy is disappointed in you letting his country down for this reason. He, he bet his fucking life savings on you to win. You know, this guy's this, a former marine. Yeah, and, and this blah, blah, woman blah, 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 blah. is a school. You know, whatever the right, fuck. And, and, right, and right, right. all you gotta do is believe. And all you gotta do is believe. Yeah. Uh, Adam Rose back on Monday Night Raw. Huh? The thing Against, here uh, was the, the bunny got involved in the match outside of the ring, and the bunny like beat the shit. Out of, I think he's Slater and cost him the match. What's up, with Titus t- O'Neil, man? Jobbing out to Adam <laughs> Rose. Like, Can you do that like, noise? It's, it's like <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even hey, I can't right. even do it. But uh, Titus O'Neil, one week they're high on this guy. They're about to push him. A couple of months ago, they were high on him. They actually started pushing him just for a couple of weeks, and then poof. And I had a column. Everything was going to a column. Anytime I have a real strong opinion, I write a column about it. So that's why I always say I wrote a column about this one. I, I had a column. Where I said Titus O'Neil, I was looking at potential stars in the future that, I don't remember what the title was, but basically the gist was this. Here's guys that are potential stars for the future, and not guys like Roman Reigns, the Bray Wyatt, the ones that are obvious. I'm talking about guys that are treated like they're nobodies right now, mm-hmm. that really have it, and if you really did something with them, could be. Could be something. Like Damian Sandow, Titus O'Neil. Like, there's guys on that roster that if you really use them the right way, they've got it. Right. You know right. what I mean? And I think Titus is one of those guys. Absolutely. Right. right. If right. you look at his comic skills on the mic when he's the comedian, you know, he's trying to be funny. Mm-hmm. He's awesome. To, and he's, and he's, he's awesome. Got, he's got the size, like you said, man. He's got, he's, got no, he's, got he's got the look, size. He's, the size. he's believable as a badass. He's got pretty good work in the ring for a big guy. And his promos are pretty entertaining. Is know? it because he's African American? No. Oh, fuck did that go? Oh, you want him to join the new nation? Well, no, I'm saying that. Why don't Why don't they consider him? He's always had. Why don't they consider him for the new nation? I don't know. I don't know. Is the new nation still? They do it on, like you said, dark matches and uh, live events. Right. Right. But my God, if there was ever a guy that, because you know what the idea of a faction is, he could be the leader. He could be the big, the beast. Well, uh, the idea you're gonna have one talker. You're gonna have one big no, guy. No, what's the goal of a faction? What do you, what's the end result? What do you want to? What's? Why do you have? You want to make stars? Thank you. you want to get some evolution? Over. What was the goal of evolution? Uh, to evolution to get Randy Orton over and and Dave Batista. And what happened? They got them both over. Why would you getting, put Titus O'Neil in the new nation? That's a guy that if you put him in there, he could be the guy that spins out. Yeah, the goal the new, of every faction the new is nation. to make one star. Okay, but I understand. 
You've got Triple H and Ric Flair who are trying to put over. Randy I mean, how did Triple H, H get over originally? The, who's the new nation? Who is the guy that's going to put over the other guys? You've got Xavier Woods, young guy. No, and that's yeah. a good point. Who's, who's, who's the established? Who are they going to get the rub from? Mark Henry. I don't know. Mark I mean, Henry. you know, uh, that's the point. I think is that. But right. I mean, even then, if you look at the Nation of Domination, the yeah. original one, The Rock became the biggest thing ever. Who Rock. was the star originally of the Nation of Domination? Rock, Ron Simmons. Ron Simmons was yeah, the Ron He Simmons. was the original leader. Right. And even at the time, he wasn't some big deal. Yeah, yeah. But he was considered like, like the best of, of those guys. Yeah. Coming out of that, The Rock yeah. spun out and made a star. D-Generation right. X made Triple H. The goal of a faction is to make a star, mm-hmm. at least one. Evolution, he's Randy Orton. You know, legacy, Randy Orton. Uh, right. But, yeah, so I think Titus O'Neil could be the guy that I breaks out of the nation. I but agree. he's not even rumored to be part of it. Um, real good. Even if if they even do continue the story, yeah. Line. But I, well, I heard they Titus. They were doing. Well, they're doing a live events, but yeah. we haven't seen it on television. Unless they do something at SmackDown tonight, and we know? haven't seen those. Guys. Where's the last time you seen Big E on TV? For a while, Xavier Woods as well, right? Xavier Woods barely never I even got made, made event or something. I think we might well, have watched SmackDown event, or right, whatever. Right. All right, right. listen. Yeah. Uh, we got to take a quick commercial oh, break. By the way, shit, I didn't uh, uh, Rusev uh, squashed Zack Ryder. Yeah, on we talked about that earlier, and then afterwards was the Henry we're, thing. We're coming back. We're coming back That's it. <laughs> with a train wreck of a yeah, fucking right. segment with the Bella Twins. So, uh, we're going to get out of here. Or, we're not getting out of here, but we're going to go on break for about five minutes. We'll come back after the break and take your own live phone calls. 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. Wait for us to come back. Give us a call. We're also taking rapid fire. You go to Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Submit your questions for rapid fire. Make them one line only. One line questions. Please. We can get right through them. One liner. Maybe right? two, but no more. One or two lines. We can get right through them. And uh, we'll be good to go. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. 518-712-3070. We come back from the break. You are listening to WCR TV Tuesday nights with Matt Boone Ryan Clark we'll be back right after this oh. we do need to talk about where we left off the Bella Twins oh segment on Monday Night Raw so this is about the draft was still going but we were at the point in the draft where it was all bench players kickers defense things like that where who gives Fantasy a shit? Fantasy draft? Yes, okay. from last night. So it was like, who gives a shit? So I was kind of getting back into Monday Night Raw from last night. Um, man. Uh, right. Stephanie McMahon comes out and immediately brings out Nikki Bella. She wants to praise her, praise her for what she did the previous week on Raw, where yeah. she stood up against her sister, stood up for her family, this, that, and the other thing. So Nikki comes out, right? And, uh, you know, Steph starts talking about... You know, uh, basically putting Brie down, saying all the videos that had been airing prior to this, you know, growing up a Bella or throwing up a Bella, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, where you know it was all it was always all about Brie. It's all Brie, 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 Brie. Mm-hmm. Um, so she granted Nikki a, uh, a Divas Championship match. Yes. Uh, they hug it out, and uh, Brie. I Bella. think Brie came out. Is that what this was about? Well, Brie was comes all out. of this about just winning a, or getting a Divas title match. Brie comes out. That to was the her same thing, yeah. music. Oh right? yeah, that first. And okay. Stephanie says you're no longer obligated to use. Not the obligated. Music. That's the wrong word. Uh, obligated means you're no longer forced to. Or you know. Uh, you're Obligate no longer allowed allowed to use Obligate this theme it's like song. Songs. Find your own theme. <laughs> Basically, everybody's against Brie, right? Yes. Everybody's against uh, uh, against Brie at this point, and that's where Brie comes out. And like you said, said, is that what this mm-hmm. is? Is that what this is about? A Divas Championship match? This is all you wanted all along, blah blah. And because blah, they blah. reference a Divas title, outcomes also. Outcomes. Uh, uh, AJ Page. Lee came out Page. first, I think. A- AJ came out first, skipping and then around. Page came out second. So Page came out skipping around too. Yeah. What was the deal here where they just basically got rid of the WWE Women's title? I mean, there were two, or there's still two different titles for women. Yeah. What was the deal? Why did Why did Page have a belt, and why did uh, only Page had a belt? No, there were two divas that had belts. Am I wrong? You're wrong. I, I'm wrong. There hasn't been a women's title in I know months, maybe years. There had there. <laughs> No, you're right. There hasn't. I could have sworn at some point. Maybe it's because did AJ pick up Paige's belt? Somebody else had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AJ I picked saw it up. Two yeah, AJ, AJ. No, at one point Paige had it because it's hers. 
And then uh, Brie pushed Nikki. And when she pushed Nikki, Nikki fell into Paige. Okay. Or AJ. All right, I think all right, it was Paige. Right. So Paige and Nikki fall down. AJ picks the belt up and picks Stephanie the belt up. Stephanie demands her to give it to her. Gotcha. Stephanie gets right up in her fucking face. Gotcha. Give me my championship, you know. Because Nikki gets a championship shot. So Yeah, give but me either way, it's not you know, it's not yours, AJ. Give me it now. You know, she bullied AJ and there's that classic picture that everybody's using up. Stephanie right in AJ's face. Right in AJ's face. All right. Yeah. So what? It's going to be Nikki Bella against Paige. I'm assuming uh, like WWE a triple Divas threat or a four-way Divas okay. thing. I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay. I mean, you would think based on storylines before last night, Paige, AJ Lee again. Mm-hmm. You know, she's buying her chocolates and kissing her hand and hugging her and all that shit. But, seemed uh, like they went a different route Yeah, last, last night, night it seemed like they switched it up a little bit. How bad was the promo work here? I mean, that's basically what I'm And I think that's about. why, by the way, because last pay-per-view, SummerSlam, there was AJ Page, Stephanie uh, Bree. So there was two Divas matches, and usually they only have one. Right. So I think if you throw those two angles together... Mm-hmm. Especially now that Stephanie's not involved in the actual match. Makes so sense. it's not as important that two Divas have their own matches. Right. Let's just throw it all together so we have our one Divas match. Makes sense. Uh, so Makes I think sense. that's what was going on there. Yeah. All right, no doubt. Um, but the promo work was terrible between Nikki and Brie. We and even, this went on and yeah. on and We don't on even need to address on. it. It went on Dude. forever. It sucked. <laughs> and thank God it's over. It was so bad. I even chimed in on Facebook at this point during the draft, and I said, what the fuck? I think uh, Robert Roode or Bobby Roode in TNA yeah. also put up on, on same thing I did on uh, Facebook. What the fuck am I watching? Or end this shit, please. You know, this was brutal, man. I can't, I, you had last said, week, I kind of sort well, of somewhat disagreed. You know what? Was, not really, but this week... Last week, you I'd came on here. Last week, you came on here, and during the segment, I was... I couldn't stand it. Yeah. And you had said something along the lines of, you know, you were doing play-by-play coverage, yeah. but you could hear it out of the corner of your ear, and you it, they kept you... Thank you. I you thought you were going to bring up the Nikki thing. No, no, that, no, That seemed to be what you got out of what I said last you week. You kept that. You thought that I thought Nikki's performance was good, which I thought it was okay. It was decent. It was My decent. main thing was... They kept you turning there's back. There's very few like, moments where I'm doing play-by-play where I got to, like, really stop and, like, focus on what's going on because right. it's that... I don't know if it, the word's not good or entertaining, but it's like it's that they had you, they had you, they had your attention. It had they my had, attention, yeah. They, there's a word I know what you're looking. And you for. had the word last week because I was surprised you came up with it. <laughs> but uh, whatever that word is, it, it really it caught my attention. It was intriguing. That's it. It was it, or captivating or intriguing. Yeah, right. it was like it really captivated my attention. This week, I'm doing the draft. This week, dude, right? And I'm yeah. not even watching the TV screen. And that thought crossed my mind that. What Boone said last week, and last week you were right. Yeah. But this week I'm doing the draft. I had no intention of of yeah. turning over. You were kind of half ass every just once to in see a while. How bad this really? No, I'm talking about the whole show. The whole show. You're kind of every once in a while. Right. right. Maybe, but then there's every once in a while this a moment that's really good where you're like, oh <laughs> wow, what's going on here? Right. You know. So. This was this was almost like the turnover to see how bad yeah. this really and is. And that even this was part of it last going? week. Like it, it was so bad it was good kind of you know, like a yeah. train. Right. A they call it a train wreck. Why? Because or a car crash. Like, you know, if you're driving down the road and you see a car crash, as as bad as it might be, you can't help but look. You can't help but look to see you what happened. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. That's so, a good analogy. Yeah. I like that. Alright, we had uh the Usos. Um basically. The whole same thing, thing there was happened. they're selling it was no, it was a one on one match. It was I think Gold Dust mm-hmm. and, and Gold Dust won via pinfall, and either Jimmy or Jay, whoever has the injured knee Jay. after the match was Jay the big was. focus. I don't even remember if it, I think it was Jimmy it was and Gold Dust during the match, and then after the match they attacked Jay, or it was Jay and they attacked him. WWE.com has an injury. Well, the point, the whole point was, yeah, the match was irrelevant. After okay. the match is where the angle happened. The mm-hmm. match was unimportant. After the match, it was they continued the Gold Dust Stardust heel turn mm-hmm. by having them viciously attack unnecessarily as well. Viciously, unnecessarily attacked uh, the injured Uso with his leg. Right. So they continued, like you said, from the previous week where they attacked. Establishing that these guys are heels now. Right. And WWE.com put up an injury report on Dr. Chris Amon, who's getting all kinds of press from WWE.com. That's WWE's real doctor, but man, they're trying to make it They're getting him over as like an internet darling. Yeah, it's... it's He's the doctor internet darling. Trying to make it look more real by using WWE's real doctor. You know what I mean? Because even if you looked into it, he literally 
is. He is WWE. So style. it seems like real. Yeah. You know? yeah. Especially if you're a young kid and you, you know if you're that crazy that you want to find out who's Chris Lamont. Oh, he really is the Doctor. Oh, you so this must be real. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's exactly what it is. All right, uh, we can skip. I guess. And I mean, there was a backstage segment with uh, Rollins, Kane, and Orton. They're going over the match tonight, the main event. Uh, we should establish the fact that they were in Rollins' hometown last night. They didn't do much with him. The not money. only did they not do much with him, but what they did do with him was all wrong. Because they would, he was the guy to set up Reigns' big spots, like a big Superman punch. Like in the beginning of the show, Rollins goes to sneak attack Reigns. You're right, you're right. And Reigns avoids it, Superman punches him, drops him, and throws the briefcase at him. And everybody's Rollins like booing it. Reigns. Right. And the opening segment as well, That's bro. That's the opening segment. Where, where that Rollins, was the opening segment. Well, when Rollins was cutting that promo yeah. uh, in the very beginning, when everybody spoke a little bit in the very beginning. Everybody, here's what it was. Everybody was, everybody was given their case why they deserved the title shot. If Triple H right. is going to reconsider and not have seen it, well, then I deserve it. No, I deserve it. No, I... When right. Rollins finally spoke, everybody, wow, you know, everybody like, cheered. And then and I they won the announcers. And they set it up that... After all it was done, Rollins goes to cheap attack Reigns, like I said. Right. Reigns sees it coming, doesn't get, you know, and then super punches, uh, Superman punches Rollins. Everybody Crowd boos boom. him. Crowd and he throws the briefcase. They boo him. And then in the main event, it was kind of similar to where Rollins was the guy to set up Reigns' as big spots, not realizing, or at least WWE didn't realize, or if they did, they're retarded. Well, they didn't think that Rollins was going to get That's cheered. my point. They didn't right. realize that... Right. This is like the dumb thing to do because if you're trying yeah. to get Reigns pops from the crowd, having him beat up the one guy who's from the home, you know. I, I see where you're coming from, but I, I understand. Well, Roman Reigns the same stuff to Ro- Kane. Roman Reigns should have Superman punch Kane or somebody yeah. else, anybody but Rollins. But the current feud is really Rollins Reigns. No, it ain't. After what we've seen the last it's couple Reigns of years, the versus. You put Kane's been there too. Uh, it's more of a Reigns versus should have been Kane. Rollins Kane thing. Should have been Kane. To where, like, if you're asking me what what what's the match with those guys at Night of Champions? There's a couple ideas. Reigns Rollins one on one, so that would make you right. Or, and there's two wars. Reigns versus Reigns, Kane. Rollins Kane handicap. Right. Or we've heard Dean Ambrose because the filming of that movie's done on Saturday before. Before the Sunday pay per view, the day right. before. Right. So theoretically, this mystery guy, where you never, he could pop up, and and maybe it even is promoted as a handicap, and then Ambrose just shows up and helps him. S- shows up as a surprise. So I right. think the angle is, is more of Reigns versus Kane and Rollins, not just Kane Ro- or Reigns. So Rollins. last night, you're right. You're 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 right. So you could do the same the stuff they did to Kane instead of Rollins. Should have done the same Kane. effect. Should have done it to Kane last night in Des Moines, Iowa. But in WWE's defense, once again, they're thinking. Des Moines, Iowa, not the hottest market in the world. <laughs> are they really I don't know what they were cheer? thinking. Because are they really going to cheer Rollins this much? And they course. did last night. They did Anybody's last night. hometown, you get. Well, and on. in the opening segment, I think Michael Cole said, we are in the hometown of Seth Rollins or something, as the crowd was cheering. I remember one of the announcers specifically mentioning that we are in Rollins' hometown of yeah. Des Moines, Iowa, or whatever it was. Something like that. Yeah. Because the crowd was cheering. Because, and was yeah, they didn't yes. mention it, and then it happened. No, it no, happened, they, and then they, happened, they said, well, this is why it's happening. Yes, correct. And, and if you want an example, like, maybe WWE thought, oh, well, Des Moines, Iowa is not a big market, or this or that, or they thought Rollins isn't a big enough star to where just because he's from here... Or not everybody there. knows that Rollins... That, too. Well, no, they would know it if they're from there, sure. and they're there. You know what I mean? Like, the good example would be, like, Okay, well, Rollins is such an asshole heel that, no, even though he's from here, they're going to boo him. Name a, a hotter heel group than the Hart yeah. Foundation during the Attitude Era. Anywhere in North America, they boo the but, shit out of him. But if they went to Canada, they knew goddamn well they're getting cheered. No matter how much they're hated here, I mean, they're home, so they're going to cheer him at home. But wait a minute. Every heel gets cheered at home. If, if I were to say to you right now, where's the big show from? I don't know. Where's uh, but if you're from, where's the big from? That's a dumb argument because we're not if you're from, from there. The city, if right. you're in Des Moines, Iowa, obviously that's where you would know. Yeah, I, this is our hometown I think guy. The diehard fans would know, but not everybody in the arena. That it makes a huge difference. If you're from Des Moines, Iowa, yeah, a small market, and yeah. you're a wrestling fan in a small market, and you're going to the wrestling you're show, you're a diehard wrestling fan in a small market. No, that's uh-huh. your saying. That I'm right. saying if All you're right. if you're a wrestling fan in a small market, and you're going to a wrestling show in that small market, yeah. you must be aware of who, if anybody, is from that market, in my opinion. Alright, alright. 
I, 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 mean, I get what you're saying. I, I, I just didn't think... The common person has no idea. I didn't know it, until it happened. happened. Right, right, right. Until they started cheering, and when they right, and when it was right. that wad of a cheer, I was thinking, why the fuck you is can, he that over tonight? And then they said on commentary, oh, he's from here. And I'm like, oh, that's why. Well, you know what? It's kind of like your birthday. When you have a birthday, you kind of know who's born on your birthday, right? The same people that have the same birthday as you. It's kind of I, 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 it's, it's kind of a bad analogy right there. But, Very bad analogy. But, no, 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 no. I no. get it's, what you're it's, saying. It's, it's, if it's your birthday, I know that Madonna's born on my birthday, and I know that it's the same thing where if yeah, it's something been, you if, know if, that if, might not be common that knowledge everybody to other else people. would know. In that sense, but it's a because, good analogy. But, because it's your hometown yeah. <laughs> or because it's your birthday. I had to figure you your analogy out. That was right. a good analogy. It makes sense. But once you explain it, it makes sense. Yeah. All right, we had uh, uh, main event time, right? Ten thirty Eastern time. They started yeah. doing the introduction. They started doing right? the intros. I mean, before started that, they the did the backstage segment, but we already covered that with Big Show and Henry. Big and Show and Henry. I'll right, be right. there for you. No, right. I'm gonna do this on my own. Yeah. Uh, so ten thirty Eastern. Three commercial breaks during the main event last was night. Was there three? Three of them, brother. Three. Are you counting breaks. the entrances? Because one was there. Uh, the they started the entrances, went to a commercial break, yeah. came back. The match started. I think it was even Cena came out. Cena came out and then break, and then when we yes. came back, Reigns came out or was already. Yeah, when we came back, Reigns was just starting to come out. Right. Then right. Jericho, I guess. Was and then back. they went to a commercial break at about I want to say well right after the about intro, fifty two maybe. I think it was like fifty five. I want to say yeah fifty two and then 50, they, 50, yeah, 55, so they somewhere must, around there. Did they do three? So that would be the second at 52. You're telling me they did another commercial I after 52? I specifically remember, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the chat room, but I specifically remember three commercial breaks, and I was surprised by it, saying this is the main event, but they started at 10.30 yeah. Eastern time, and I think what they did is they it's started... It's important the, because they, we're rushing. Right, right, but, right. Uh, yeah, I'm not debating it, I'm just saying. It yeah. was three. You guys can let us know in the uh, in the chat room. So the main event, six-man tag team match. They are um, dying to call in tonight. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take your phone calls in just a minute. For the uh, remainder <laughs> remainder of the show, we've got about a half hour left. We're gonna do all live phone calls and your rapid fire questions too. We'll uh, we'll mix it all yeah. up. But uh, if you guys remember in the chat room, I think it was three commercial breaks. What did you, what did you think know. of the uh, the main event? I didn't really pay attention. That Six much. man tag. Yeah, I mean, I'm, right? I'm doing the play by play. I'm just trying to cover what the announcers are saying, and half the time the announcers are ignoring it. Triple H and Stephanie were at ringside. But not on commentary. No, Roman. Roman did win. He hit a spear on Kane, so to win the match. So no, we were Cena won the match. Cena got the pin, I think. Roman Reigns got the pin via pinfall. Did uh, he? speared Kane. Show me that on there. I don't see it. Okay, okay. I and thought. Okay, I think what happened was Cena set it up, and then Roman followed it up and pinned him. That might have been that. But before that, before that, you had said that that Roman Reigns hit the Superman punch on on Rollins. No, that was in the opening segment. Oh, the opening. You're yeah, right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're absolutely no, right. No, the one okay. thing that I remember looking at was Cena had Kane up for the attitude adjustment, and mm-hmm. he fucking while he's holding him. He points over at Triple H and Stephanie, like, you know, you want to right, stand like, out, like, here's standing out. I'm the guy that's standing yeah. out. I'm the one that's going to... And there was even times in the match where Reigns would go to make a tag, the hot tag, and instead of tagging Cena, right. he would tag uh, Jericho, and Cena would be, like, pissed. Cena would be like, what the fuck, why didn't you tag me? And he's playing right. it up to the crowd, and like, mm-hmm. come on, then why, you know. Let me ask you one other thing. How about last night? I mean, they That's hyped disgusting. the shit out of uh, out of There's next goo week's coming out of your arm. I know it's the fucking uh, goo. Well, it's the stuff that I put on Ugh. it, man. I put on. Oh, it's cream. Triple. I anti- thought that was like pus. No, it's triple antibiotic oh, okay. uh, ointment, man. And I had Allison spray my bed with this bed bug stuff that hopefully okay. it kills it. Because I wake up every morning, I'm scratching away. Yeah, me too. And it causes so. Anyways, but uh, get all that though, Jesus. How about? Next week's Raw, where they just promoted the more. hell out of this. My old hometown. Right? Uh, Jerry, yeah, the Michael Sam. Jerry. Jerry. Uh, Michael didn't Sam. bring that up. As well. Well, they, uh, I was going to bring it up here. Okay. Right before, after the main event, right, they came back to the announcement. No, they had announced it before this. They announced it way before this. This was no doubt. Part of selling it on the way out. But, yeah. right, normally after the main event ends, you see somebody posing in the ring. They shot back to the announcers last night, and they said, just as a reminder, we've invited Michael Sam to Raw last night. We've also got this match. And there's two matches announced. There's a steel for, cage uh, match with Jericho and Wyatt, Jericho and there's Wyatt. a Reigns-Orton rematch from SummerSlam. They're both Reigns SummerSlam Orton. rematches. Right. One's in a cage. So one. they announced two huge matches, really big matches, yeah. for uh, for next week's Raw. One they've of those invited 
Michael here. Sam. Oh, we're Michael Sam. About the wrong. NXT diva that quit. We got to. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna quick. Uh, yeah. I'll let Boone uh, talk about that. I here don't know about second. it. I just saw oh. the name. Yeah. So Michael yeah. Sam coming to Raw. You've got the two matches that uh, you just mentioned, and then they announced on WWE.com today. Michael Sam's not coming to Raw. They invited. Him I don't to Raw. think so. No, he's not. He he's signed got the, with the. Uh, uh, he's the. Uh, uh, we can confirm now. Right before we came on the air here today, and I don't know if you put this up on your site. Did he sign? Uh, he is now signed with the Dallas Cowboys practice squad. Practice squad. Yeah, well, officially signed. He was getting the uh, the tryout. Or what do they call it? The physical. A physical on right. Wednesday. Okay. And then that was going to determine whether or not he makes the practice squad because the it was an ESPN reporter who posted. Is that what you're talking about? The ESPN reporter. Yeah. Was it Adam Scheffner said that? Yeah. Right? No. 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 That wasn't that he signed. It's that he's t- getting a physical and. And he even made it clear on another tweet, a second tweet, where he said, "It's not not confirmed. the main team, the practice squad." But I think it's if he makes it, it'll be the practice squad. So it's not like he's there yet; he might be there. But because he's gonna go to the thing on Wednesday, he probably won't be at Raw. Okay, Monday. here it is. You're you're absolutely right. It says uh, Michael Sam to take a Dallas physical on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely. if he if they like him and they want him, you know, then he's gonna be a practice squad, not main team or whatever. Okay, that's I love this Wi-Fi. Don't you? You it's can great. pull up everything real yeah. quick, bro. It's fucking sweet. It doesn't work right. so good for streams, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, we'll work on it, bro. You we'll might fall on behind it. two fights right. on a pay per view on UFC. So listen. Monday Night Raw, top to bottom, as a whole. Damn, look at uh, the colors. School Our letter, lines are we're lighting gonna, up. We're going to take them in just two seconds. I want the school letter grade from Monday Night Raw from last night. C minus. C minus? Yeah. I didn't see a lot of it, but you I'll know what? Go D. D. Because I'm trying to think now. D. If you're asking me, like, what, okay, when you ask me to grade a Raw, I always go like this. As a whole, the show sucked, but the Heyman thing was good. And after I said the Heyman thing good was good. Good matches, promos. The Heyman thing was good, but it was only like a minute and a half. It was very uh-huh. brief, and that was the only time we saw him. Uh-huh. After that, I can't think of something else that was like, well, this was damn good, too. There was nothing like that last mm-hmm. night. It wasn't very I thought good. the opening, that highlight reel, I thought that was like not a Bella Twins train wreck, but like a different kind of train wreck. It wasn't that good. One last thing I want to ask you. Yeah. Just brought up the Bella Twins, right? Mm-hmm. Um... Jerry Springer coming to Raw next Jesus week. Christ. Does it get better next week? Uh, with no, Jerry there? the whole point of Jerry. You, you're a Jerry Springer fan, I think. Drama, right? drama, drama. The whole drama. point of them is the the cat fights and the rolling around and all that stuff. I think the whole reason they have him there is because that's what they've been doing the last few weeks. Baltimore, Baltimore. Remember, Maryland. Nikki? Do we get Nikki, Jerry chant? Nikki week? takes her shoes off. She grabs Bree by the hair and yanks her out of the chair, yes. and then they roll around the ground like ECW. Cat fight. Joey Classic Stout. Jerry Springer TV show. And then this week they kind of did the same thing a little yeah. bit and yeah so Jerry Springer comes that's obviously going to be something that they're doing next week as well Baltimore Maryland do we get a Jerry of Jerry course. chant all right of course. start taking these lives kind of fucked up because in WWE when you hear the chant Jerry Jerry <laughs> who is it Jerry Lawler Jerry Lawler Jerry Lawler so that's gimmick infringement where I come from 518-712-3070 we got a lot of them tonight we got a lot of them real quick NXT diva Veronica Lane has been uh, released from WWE quit, right quit WWE yeah. uh, released a statement on her Instagram account I believe it was we're gonna yeah. put that up as soon as we go off the air here you know tonight what's interesting but uh, to me? one of the best work one of, not the best but one of the Decent talents down in NXT. Veronica Lane is uh, done with uh, WWE. What I find interesting is WWE promotes these Twitter accounts, these Instagram accounts. They promote the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. Like CM Punk, for example. And then he gets fired or leaves or quits or whatever, and he still gets to keep that Twitter account with those millions of followers to where his next project that he does, if he releases a CD, he can release it. With two million people to promote Absolutely. it to. Absolutely. Thanks to WWE. Whereas in the old days, they wouldn't let you walk out with your name, let alone a promotional yeah. tool to yeah. use, a promotional vehicle to advertise on. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I would I think guess. they would. I would think they would own those Twitter accounts. And then when you quit, no, 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 change your Twitter handle. You're I not mean, using yeah, the, the million and fucking. But isn't the internet's public domain? So I think anybody that's on the internet. No, no, no not if WWE a... buys it. Because back in the day. If you remember, you know how now when they come out, it'll say, uh, Our Truth. You know, they have the graphic with his name on it when he comes yeah, out, and yeah. it'll say, At Our Truth yeah, or whatever. I, I Back it. in the day, when it used to be like Steve Austin, and then underneath, StoneCold.com, or it would have their right. website underneath it. And right. if they were quitting or got fired, that domain would automatically redirect to WWE.com. Right, right. Now, I know you can't redirect Twitter's Twitter's a Twitter account. Account. Right. But it's right. not, but they own, if they register that Twitter account and they own it, they should be able to say, fuck, well, like change the password absolutely. or whatever. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, put it this way. Remember CM Punk's Facebook account? How they would use it themselves after he quit. Right. And they would promote their own shit on his Facebook account. Mm. They can't do that with his Twitter account. No. Why is Twitter different? I don't know. I don't know. It's, I, just, it's, I, that was I mean, WWE I mean. could force all their talents to say, listen, this is your Twitter account, this is your username, and this is your password. Yeah. We Why wouldn't it. they? I, you're giving somebody too many I think that's, people. I think that's going a little bit overboard. Taking I someone's know. real name is too, and they've taken people's there real are other, names. There are other companies. There are tons of other companies in this in this world that they don't they don't control their social media the accounts of their does. employees. WWE would be one of the first of millions of companies. Uh, I'm not comparing. Them, I'm saying for what they normally do when they fire somebody, they don't let them keep shit that they built. But it's the and they're I building know. these Twitter accounts, and then they let them keep them, and that's a promotional vehicle. There's it's not like their name that they get to keep. No, it's this is something that where if this guy, if this guy creates a T-shirt and wants to sell T-shirts, he's got two million people that WWE gave uh, him to promote it to. I, I I see where you're coming from, man, but it's it's. Yeah, WWE's built it in in some ways, but in other ways, they're a talent on their own. People are going to go out on Twitter and Facebook, but they're known and because of these WWE. guys. They're known because that's of WWE. called intellectual property, and WWE's whole uh, thing is fighting because they own the intellectual property. Yeah, if it extends the websites, Twitter, their their name, their gimmick name. Uh, they don't let you take any of that shit know, with you. I Alberto know. Del Rio can't be Alberto Del Rio. You know what I mean? Sin Cara, I, I know what Sin Cara. Look at that fight. I, I think that if WWE did that, they're, we got they're going a little, little bit overboard. No, I agree. It would be an asshole move. I'm just surprised it, they're not making that asshole move. Right. You know right. what I mean? It is WWE. Yeah. Carla, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? Hey, guys. Jack Jackie. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? You tell us. What's on your mind this week, Jackie? Mm, nothing much. I'm... I'm... I think I know what they should do at Night of Champions for Rusev and Mark Henry. All right, what do you got? Power, so he's focused power on lifting, first. because they're both power lifters. They're both power Henry lifters. Was, yeah. yeah, Henry was in the Olympics in 96. Rusev was a prospect for the Bulgaria team for the right. London Olympics. The girl knows her shit, man. She knows her shit, man. Yeah. She is good. So what are you, what yeah. are you thinking? Are we going to have a... Uh, 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 Henry was on two Olympic teams, I believe. Is there going to be a, uh, what are they going to add, a stipulation? Are we going to see a powerlifting match on, on SmackDown or Raw in the coming weeks? Oh, like what's a demonstration who can bench more? Yeah, what's going to happen here, Jackie? I would say probably SmackDown and Night of Champion and see what happens with that because, you know, they're both strong. They're, I have nothing against Mark Henry. He's, an, he's a nice guy. But Rusev is kind of is kind of my guy, and Rusev and Lana is kind of my favorite manager right now. I she hated it. And basically, he's a strong guy, and he's, he, he, as you can tell, he's a gentleman. To wait a minute, lady. wait a minute. Didn't a couple of weeks he, ago, I thought, uh, Jackie, I thought a couple of weeks ago you called up and you couldn't stand Rusev and Lena. I thought you hated them. I, Don't worry, John. No, no, no. I, okay, like I said before when I came back, I had I've liked them since the first time I saw them on SmackDown when he was uh, coming up from NXT, and I've always liked them because they kind of reminded me of Macho Man and Elizabeth in a certain way because they were always together. But Bruce is not overprotective. Well, he is protective of Lana if someone disrespects her, but you know he's the kind of guy that won't let his woman take any shit. <laughs> like like for example, like Stephanie, she won't take anyone. Uh, you know what? And um, for I, you know, you know, AJ Lee needs shit, to man. be put in her place because you know I don't see her getting the Divas title back anytime soon. You know, Stephanie. You know, Stephanie should have a match against her and show that's her who's boss. Because last night when she was about to walk off with the Divas title, Stephanie says, "Give me the Divas title now, AJ." Yeah. AJ, well, yeah, we brought that up like, earlier. Yeah, AJ gives it back to her, and I'm like, okay. And then I see AJ with this look in her eye. You're like, you know, okay. I thought yeah, at first AJ was going to turn back around and crazy. hit Stephanie, but you know, hello, if you hit Stephanie. It's, cra you it's crazy. It's crazy, Jack. I know. I know. It was crazy on Raw last we night. Wasn't it? Was crazy. Calls. Listen, I, I, I got, I got time for one more question. Then we got to get out of here. We got a, quick, we got a ton of callers. So, so real quick, one more. Give us one more, quickly, please. Who is going to win a champion, Cena or Lesnar? Cena, Cena or Lesnar. Thanks for the right. call, Jackie. Appreciate it, um, Jackie. 
Cena or Lesnar? Cena. Lesnar. Yeah, I'm not going to make a prediction yet. Make a prediction. I can't. You can change it. I, I can? Yeah. I, I said it last week. This, I'll say we're it not again writing them down yet. Somehow, yeah. some way, I don't know what's going to happen, but I still think Cena's WWE's golden boy. It's their child. You said I could change it. I'm not you saying, can, you can. I'm not saying this We're is not a writing our official this predictions. Is not though. a confirmed pick. And, and I listen, just think it's amazing. Do, it. do I agree? Even, I think I, it's I, amazing I, that you think that's even possible. I think it's possible due to the fact that for two reasons. For two reasons. That number one, we don't know Brock Lesnar's schedule, how much he can work. And number two, WWE, John Cena is WWE's golden boy. We've seen it time yeah. and time again. Uh, they, they make him 16 time right. world champion, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? What's going on, guys? How you so, doing, man? Matt? Hey, um, just a quick thing. Um, the whole Brock and John Cena thing. I think uh, Matt, you brought it up last week about um, about um, how John Cena, and he even harped on it last night, where he said, "I'm going to yeah. um, night of champions, not just to 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 beat up Lesnar, but to beat his ass." He never once mentioned about winning the title back. So I keep thinking to myself. We're going to see him beat the piss out of Lesnar, and maybe he does something like an F5 through a table or something where he gets disqualified, and Brock keeps the belt, but at least he can come out on Raw and say, I did what I said I was going to do. Because there was no mention of him saying, I'm getting my title back. No. It, it was all about showing, like, hey, I'm a badass. Like, okay, I'll beat it, yeah, but, but you, if I don't can't, belt, you can't make, okay. you can't so. You can't make Brock Lesnar look weak during that match. That's the whole thing. Unless you want to keep it going, because I was in my head thinking just now, Lesnar wins the match, but then Cena attacks him afterwards. But if he does that, which means he could say, yeah, I beat his ass like I promised, but then the last image you see is Cena beating the fuck out of Lesnar. So Lesnar's got to get that back, which means they're going to go into a third pay-per-view, and Lesnar, as far as I know... Is not working hell on a cell the right, next Right, if, they, if they're going to do that, well, then then why not have? Although there were advertisements for Lesnar and SmackDown the night before, they were fake. They were false. Or the we week before, yeah, no, I know. No, no, they were real advertisements, if, but they were not supposed basi- to. Be. Basically, what you guys, uh, well, what Boone has been saying all along is you've got to make Brock Lesnar look like this beast that nobody can beat. Yeah, if that's the case. You got to come out of Night of Champions with Brock Lesnar looking strong and destroying yeah. John Cena. So again. how does Cena beat his ass? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, is this the same one? Yeah, this is the same one. All right. Thanks for the call. I'm sorry, man. All right, we got to do uh, rapid fire as well, guys. We got a lot of these questions. So we're real gonna quick while you're loading that up. Yes, sir. Um, UFC this past Saturday night, Sacramento, California. Main event was supposed to be the big rematch, TJ Dillashaw, Hannah Burrell for the Bantamweight Championship. Right. The day before the event, at the weigh-ins, Hannah Burrell collapses, trying to cut weight. Bangs his head, rushed to the hospital. Long story short, he canceled. He pulls out of the fight 24 hours before the pay-per-view. And UFC just canceled. A pay-per-view. A lot of people don't know that because it didn't get a lot of attention. I think it was 176, 175. Fine. One of the numbers don't exist. No, 175 was Weidman and uh, Machida. Then it was so the last one. It had to have been 176. Yeah. That number like just went, came and went, and never actually had an event. And then we skipped to 177 last Saturday. Last, uh, Saturday night. So the point being, they could, they couldn't cancel the whole show. Right. And they didn't have enough time. A lot of people were saying, "Well, why don't you just put it on Fox Sports One and make it free?" Well, Fox, Sport, Fox Sports 1, a day before the show, already has their schedule lined up, right. and UFC's already got deals with the pay-per-view company. Gotta go with it. So they had to, if they could find a replacement, which they did, Joe Soto, undercard guy, was going to make his UFC debut on the prelims. They bump him up. He was a former Bellator champion, Tacky Palace champion. He fights TJ Dillashaw. The event goes on as planned. Maybe it's going to be probably the worst buy rate in modern Not good. since the boom of UFC. Nowhere Not near good. the worst ever, but since they really boomed in 2004, 2005, that's going to be the lowest pay-per-view buy rate they've ever done. Uh, right. But at the event, Dillashaw won. Fifth round knockout, head kick. Uh, sick knockout. Sick knockout. Sick uh, knockout. Dominated five rounds. And give it up out. for Soto as well. And man. Dillashaw. Uh, Dillashaw as yeah. well, but Soto came in 24 hours notice. Didn't know who he was fighting. Well, he knew that he was going to fight on the uh, on the undercard. Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fighting. So, yeah. But a completely different opponent. But three rounds to five uh, rounds. Yeah, three absolutely. Three versus title fight main absolutely. event. Absolutely. And it it's up. worth noting, like you said, like or like I said, T.T. Dillashaw deserves credit too because in a similar situation, John Jones uh, was supposed to fight, I think, yeah, it was Dan Henderson. Henderson gets injured. They get Chael Sonnen to step up, yeah. and Jones doesn't accept the fight, so they have to cancel 
right. the UFC pay per view, which at the time I think that was the first time they've ever canceled a whole pay per view. Right. right. The the second was this last one, one seventy six that we just talked about that confusion. But yeah, so Dillashaw, if if it was John Jones, Jones would have said no on twenty four hours notice. I'm not doing it. Dillashaw did. Jones is such a. He dick. deserves credit. Jones is such a. He's dick. a prima donna. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. All right. See, I think what happens is when you ignore the phone, you know what I mean? I didn't ignore him. Uh, five, uh, well, if you hit the client. 518 I've been hitting the whole hour. Yeah, you know, I know. I know. 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. If it went to a uh, voicemail or if we weren't able to pick you guys up before. I think uh, you said we're switching to rapid fire. I think. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to still mix it up. If you guys don't, <coughs> don't get through yeah, the first time. We're taking calls still. Just uh, keep calling back. We're, we're going to get to it. There's just so many. I'm sitting here yeah. looking at the computer. And we can only <laughs> take one at a time. There's like yeah, three lighting up at once. The poor guy's getting slammed over in here, and it's just like, how many, wow. uh, how many rapid fire? Um, is it deep? About 20. Okay, about 20. Um, so we'll take uh, rapid fire, and uh, I think why did it, it just stopped right there? Maybe there's a problem. It, you said I think Skype it fucks was up a little bit. Man. I guarantee you, it was when you said, "All right, we need to get to these rapid fire." I think that's when they were like, "Oh, they're done." Let's call see what happens. Call right now. Five one eight seven one two three zero seven zero. Five one eight seven one two three zero seven zero. There's a delay, so it'll take a minute. A little bit yeah. of delay. All right. Andy Siegel says, "Who would you pick as the top three managers, top valets three. on the mic?" Yeah, we went through that in depth earlier. You got to. I'll, I'll say it one more time. The top three. I'm going to say uh, Rock, number one, uh, Steve Austin, number two, and uh, number three, Flair. Uh, Rick Flair, number three. I, I hate doing it. I'll say Flair, uh, uh, what did I say earlier? Flair, Flair, Rock, Piper. Piper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, I did Flair, Piper, Rock. No, Flair, Rock, Piper. Flair, Rock, Piper. But I might sure. rethink that. You know. All right, uh, Tom Nelson. I think they may Skype's Skype's fucked up sometimes. Tom computer. Nelson. Working fine. No, I think it's not your computer. It's Skype. Uh, Tom Nelson, who will eventually? See, there we there go. was a delay. I'm telling. Who you. will eventually defeat Rusev? Real quick before we take Cena. Point. Cena. Yeah, Rusev? that's how they make it because they just fucked him up with Lesnar. Yeah, I think they build up Rusev as the other unstoppable monster, and Cena's the guy. That, that seems to him. be what. Plus, doing Cena's right the now. American guy. Yeah, you know. yeah, it's possible. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? What's on your mind? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, just just to let you know, um, do either of you have Wes Welker on your fantasy team? Because I have some bad news that they just showed on ESPN. Wes Welker, you know what? I was just at ESPN.com, and I just read that report, my man. It's, what the, top, uh, it's the top story on ESPN.com. He, um... He's Denver? Uh, no, Buffalo? he's, uh, he got Denver. turned over. He's suspended for four games for amphetamines or whatever. Suspended for... He can't use amphetamines. Amphetamines? Amphetamines. Yeah. Amphetamines. Uh, he was injured. Meth he said, methamphetamines? No, amphetamines okay. without the meth in it. Uh, but he was, he was, he was injured and, uh, and, and suffered a couple of concussions. And I believe that he went out and was using some sort of banned substance okay. in the NFL. And uh, he's now been banned for, what is it, four games? Yeah, at least uh, for the first four games. Four games, yeah. I didn't. I don't think. I'll, uh, I mean, if you picked up Wes Welker you had him in, last year. in your fantasy, Wes Welker just recently, a couple of weeks ago, in a preseason game, suffered a concussion. So there was already talk. I mean, they thought that he was going to be back for Week One, but there were a lot of people questioning whether it was going to be the same Welker. Plus, not only that, one more concussion for him, and his career may be over. So I think uh, it wasn't. If you picked him up in fantasy, it was not a smart pick. It was not a. Smart I was thinking about it last night, and then I said, nice Did they have a note next a to his thing? When They've got a okay. note, but it said that they expected him back. For oh, so it went the other way. Game. Like, they expected him, but yeah. it turned out not. But okay. if, if you follow football and you know that Welker's got three or four different concussions, it's not a smart not pick. Not a smart pick. All right, uh, Tom, no, we already took that one. Anthony, Anthony Remy. Remy says, when will we have guests back on WZR? I've asked this guy a lot. You know, time. we can get a couple. It's just a problem of coming up with interview questions. I don't have that problem. Yeah. You book me a guest, I can interview him. All right. And I told you guys I could get on the show, and I would really like to start getting MMA guys on. MMA to promote. Uh, let, yeah. Let's ask. Let's ask the uh, the uh, the uh, the army. Yes. Would they be willing? Because a lot of times they love MMA. A lot of times they hate it. There's like a strong opinion. Shut up about MMA, or how come you didn't cover UFC this week? There's a lot of MMA guests that a I could get on here, and b I would I love. They like it. I would love to get on here because I could then transcribe the interview. Put it on the MMA sites I work for, which would also promote this show, but it would be content for my site. MMA guest on WZR TV. Would you? Yes or no? Yeah, would you like to have, and, and they would be names. I wouldn't put on guys you wouldn't know. I'd make sure it's people you know. 
Right, right. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the well, chat. Let us know on our feedback MMA. post tonight on that the, too. Yeah. That too. On the uh, on the we, gotta, we can't stare at the chat. Right, right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, where we leave off, we left off. Callers, if you still want to call five one eight seven one two three zero seven zero, it's you're up here on the. Uh, uh you're up. I just read the uh, thing. Oh, all right. Uh, I, I thought, just read it. I thought I read the last one. Didn't I, I read, read the last one? No, I just read about uh, guests. Oh, God, you're oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, I'm wrong again. That's about three different times. Don't, don't anyway. you just know by now when I say Oh, that? stop. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. Jason, it. Jason Hansen, what are your predictions for? There we go, UFC, right? right. Uh, UFC right. fight night this is Friday night. There's two uh, shows Ray, was, uh, Gay Guard and Satwee's fighting? Dude, and Jacques Ray? Jacques Ray versus Musashi. Yeah, I see that. Alistar Overstream. He's fighting? Alistar Overstream. Alistar Overstream. Versus <laughs> Ben Rothwell. Wow. Wow. Joe Lozon. Yeah? Versus Michael Chiesa, Ultimate Fighter winner. Joe Lozon, that big ears. You know, with the big, big ears. ears. Yeah. <laughs> and then going head to head, Bobby Lashley's Bellator, Bellator debut. Bellator. King Mo fighting on Bellator. Bellator 123. 123, exactly. But Bobby Lashley's fighting on the card, King Mo's fighting on the card, and then there's a rematch yeah. between Pitbull and uh, uh, Pat Curran, or Jeff Curran. Akbar's fighting. Pat Curran. Is Akbar fighting? Who's Akbar? Akbar, I don't know. Anyways, caller Skander Akbar. Oh, Skander? that's an old manager. Uh, no, he's in the chat room. Oh, he's in the chat room. It's an old wrestling manager name. Okay. Caller, you on the air? What's on your What's on your mind? Akbar. Well, wah 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 wah. All right, we got uh John Morgan. Uh, that's you, John Morgan. Is WWE. John Morgan says is WWE going to try and use this Cena isn't ready gimmick? To swap Roman Reigns into the Night of Champions match with Brock Lesnar. No, they're no. holding off Reigns and Lesnar till wrestling. Yeah, and if they were going to put Reigns, it they would be promoting the living shit out of it. By the way, he would win. By the way, Night of Champions coming up in a couple of weeks. They need this for network subscriptions. That so was. To, I'm not a bit. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sold yet, brother. But explain what you're talking about. Uh, the, well, the because that was that thought went through my head. I think it was today. I was thinking, like, wasn't this supposed to be like yeah, big ass? This was because so they need supposed to be. But go ahead. Tell them. Uh, the, the original six month uh, subscriptions for the WWE yeah. Network that are expiring. Big fucking, that big swamp rush of right. people that signed right. up for the network. So the idea here They're was up. the idea here is those people are going to be expiring right before the well, night champions. No, no, no. Well, well, they might even. I think they are already expired. But this is the first pay per view since their uh, so subscriptions. You really are up. need to so to convince those people and, and convince people yeah. to get night of champions. You need to put on some solid yeah. big time Just matches. To get the numbers back that they've already had. So yeah. when the next uh, uh, numbers reveal, yeah, might be fucking going this way. Now, the overall number will be way up because the international rollout, right? You know, because you're adding those numbers to it. But right. if, if you're able to, and they won't, I guarantee you, they won't say two different numbers. This is our yeah. domestic. This is our international. Right. Right. They'll right. just give us the total. And that's why they, number. That's why they bumped the international roll up right up because they knew. Shit, this ain't working like we thought. Our next Absolutely. investors meeting, our number's going to be so fucking much lower. They should be doing everything possible yeah. to load well, up United Champions. But my point is, real quick, mm -hmm. while the investors are waiting each conference call to see, all right, how far up are we this time? Mm -hmm. They knew in their heads, because the international wasn't supposed to be till the end of the year. That's true. That our next one, the investors are waiting to see how much did it go up. Not only did it not go up, it went down. WWE figured this out. Right. And was like, shit, we need to bump that international shit up now. And they did. So that when, so like I said, because they won't do two different numbers, domestic international, so that when the next conference call comes, they can say, hey, our number's up by but this time. I think the investors are stupid. They're going to be like, well, no, man, no, I know. The, I'm number just saying. Is up. the number's up because you guys launched Yeah, but they seas. won't, they, but they won't know how much You're is right, addition like from international and how do. much is less from domestic. Like you said, they're not going to do two separate numbers. But my they're point being, yeah, right. but my point being, you, like you said, they're not retarded. They know, well, it's not yeah. fucking, they know it's all together. But they'll also, they won't know the difference between, the difference between you how much, no, 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 how much, how much of, like, alright, the number goes from, let's say, 700 to 900,000. Right. Like, damn, alright, so, with the international role, like, alright, so, how much dropped and how much came in, right. we can't really tell. They're not going to know. It's just a matter of, is the number combined good enough? Right. And the whole point of what we just started this discussion was, Night of Champions was to hook those guys back to the, you got those and everything's added on to it. I guarantee you, if they didn't do this international rollout, numbers would have been way down. Way down. Absolutely. Way down. Because a lot of people sign up for Mania only, and if you sign up right now, 
for a six month subscription, you don't you ain't get getting Mania. Mania 31. Yeah, you know? and those people sign up only for Mania, so if they're they're not going to sign up for right. Mania Champions unless they stack it, which is why we thought they were stacking it. Right. Plus, they offer month to month now. Yep. yep. Caller, uh, sorry, shit. All right, one more call, and then we'll uh, get into rapid fire. Caller, you are live on WZR TV Tuesdays. What's cracking? Hey, what's going on, guys? How was your Labor Day? Labor Day was uh, busy. pretty good. Yeah, it was busy. It wasn't man. a Labor Day off for us. No. How was uh, How was your weekend? <laughs> I was all right. A little little barbecue and a little drinking and stuff. There That's you go. Of. There you go. No doubt. Now, uh, what do uh, you want to talk about, bro? First of all, I just want to warn you guys. I know there's a lot of crap going on today. Don't click on any of them videos today, boys. What, what videos is that? There's a video of somebody, you know, the thing that's going on overseas. No. Oh, the chopping the head off. Oh, the beheading yeah. thing. Yeah, you know what? All over I, got, Facebook. I got an email today, too, and I, I don't know if it's legit, but we know that a bunch of people got hacked and celebrities. In my email right now, I've got a nude photo of Molina and Velvet Sky, and they both look completely legit. You I don't send know. me that Velvet Sky one. I don't know if they're on the hackers list. Well, you Velvet, need to send me that Velvet Sky. Velvet one. Sky is turned sideways. Sideways, you can see her boobs. I, and she's got a side. I don't phone. care. She's can taking, you see a whole lot of body? She's taking uh, all of her I want to see it. She's taking a mirror selfie, and we'll, we'll send it. Molina is a little bit more hardcore, but and they look legit. So Molina well, did porn. I'll show them to you after. After, uh, after that, that was uh, that was uh, no. Melina did Mickey some James. too. No, no, Melina did too. There was uh, Mickey James, Candace Michelle. A lot of them did it, but I think Melina right. did something. All right, what uh, what else, bro? Anything else, real quick? Yeah, uh, two things. First of all, Ryan, we got beef, brother. Bills and Bears, buddy. Bills and bears, bears, huh? Oh, bears. we won. You're right. Bills and bears. Oh man, you know <laughs> what? Smashed. You know what? I'm probably. Although I heard the bills might be all right this year. No, no? we're not that good. I, I thought I heard something about the man, bills. Man, the bills and the bears, brother. You know what? Uh, I'll talk to you next. <laughs> I'll talk to you next Tuesday night, bro. <laughs> no, my <laughs> man. You're gonna make a who, prediction. Do you know who the Lions have in Week One? Uh, no. Oh, I'll look it up. Don't worry about it. Uh, all right. Uh, your second question, real quick. We gotta I'll get talk to you next Tuesday night, Buffalo Bills, bitch. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing, uh, bro. <laughs> all right, one more thing. I was thinking, yeah, they were teasing some sort of a fatal four-way match and other champions on Raw last night for basically for the number one contenders thing. If they go through with that, is there any chance that whoever wins that match later on after the Lesnar-Cena match and whoever wins that, the guy comes out there and basically ends up uh, walking out as a champion? Thanks for the call. Um, no. Fatal four way <laughs> for the for the world title. No, I think he said fatal four way for the number one contendership. Is oh. there any chance that and I don't even know how that would make sense? I mean, there's always the Seth Rollins briefcase, but I don't I don't see that happening. All right, uh, that's gonna do it for phone calls tonight, guys. We're gonna finish up the rapid fire questions right now. We have Ryan Shaftaw thoughts on the idea of having TNA taping shows now that will all be after the Bound for Glory pay per view, yeah. and how that could really screw them up. Oh well, yeah, dude, they you got a good spoiling point. their own shit depending on how they tape it. I, it, it's weird. They're gonna do one night only TV tapings, but in addition to that, they're gonna do Impact tapings. So. Bound for Glory is going to air, and then all the impacts after Bound for Glory, at least like a month worth of TV tapings, are already going to air. So how are they going to go about this, where if there is a title change, talents are going to come out, and they're going to have the new titles. So we're going to know the winners. You know what I mean? It'll be interesting, man. It's going to be very interesting. It'll be interesting. Even the promos, like how can they talk about storylines without spoiling the without match spoiling. that's going into Bound for Glory? You know, it's, I don't know. It's weird. They've got to figure something out. Horn, man. Christopher Brown. Christopher Brown says, this is a question regarding the Nightmarish. Nightmarish Bella's storyline based on what the, what the what fuck? we've seen. On what we've seen the past two weeks. Are we looking at a triple threat at for Night of Champions, AJ Page and Nikki versus, uh, or a fatal four-way, AJ Page and Nikki. That's the Christopher Brown. Work on your spelling, your grammar, so I don't look stupid. <laughs> I please. didn't read it. You're all right. You were uh, able to jump in. Yeah, this up. man bought a T-shirt from us. Did he? Yes, he well, did. I apologize. <laughs> uh, but what do you think? I know the name. He's always listen, around. Listen, yeah. this whole Bella Twins stuff. It sucks. No matter what they do, who cares? Are these two related? Who cares? Um, we got another Brown. It's your turn. Another Brown. Brandon Scott Brown this time around. What are your thoughts on Roman Reigns getting the Money in the Bank briefcase? Am I a diehard weekly listener yet? WZR heel. 
Hashtag WZR heel. Uh, I don't know. What, what is this question? Uh, he wants to know Roman Reigns getting the Money in the Bank briefcase. Right now, Seth Rollins holds the briefcase. So you're talking about maybe doing Rollins versus Reigns with the, with the stipulation the of the briefcase on the line? I thought they were going to do that at SummerSlam, but they I ended think, up going with I uh, think Reigns, Reigns is above a match like that or a concept like that. Like yeah. The way he finally gets his big moment and wins the title is because he... Cashed in a briefcase after somebody was already yeah. beat up. No, I think they're gonna continue. No, to he go goes up. head to head with right. the monster Lesnar, and Calls he's the out. guy that finally right. dethrones the guy that can't be beat. Right, which right. crowns him as the new I guy. I think Rollins may cash in, and then Reigns may take the. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Reigns is beating Lesnar for the first. Yeah, he's right. the first Rollins. guy to beat Lesnar at WrestleMania next year. John Moore. Well, what does oh, Rollins does Rollins cash in and beat? Lesnar, no. You know what? So what he's saying you is could make Reigns Roman look Reigns. even stronger by having right. Rollins. Yes. No, no, no. You could have Reigns look even stronger by doing what I said. Lesnar's unbeatable to Mania. Reigns, Lesnar at Mania. Reigns is the first guy to beat this guy that can't be beat, that broke under Ticket Street, that killed Cena at SummerSlam. So he's the first guy that can finally beat this guy that can't be beat. And then, oh shit, after this war with Lesnar, here comes Rollins. And Reigns somehow beats him too. He's fucking invincible. He's the most unstoppable force in I, wrestling. He's the new face of the company. The only way they go about it, Rollins cashing in, I think Rollins has got to lose whenever he that's, cashes that's in. That's And the it. example I just had makes Reigns yeah, look like no, the right. guy. He beats Not Lesnar only was and he, Rollins. Right. He finally is the guy right. that, that nobody can beat Lesnar. Undertaker's streak of 21 years. Cena gets manhandled at SummerSlam. Right. Reigns somehow beats him and then Rollins catches in on a hurt Reigns and Reigns beats him too. Reigns is right. the man. He's a made man. You ready? And now, you ready? One word or one line answers. All right, here we go. Where are no, we? myself included. We're at a Jorge. Jorge Romero, George Romero, who <laughs> says thoughts on why Veronica Lane left NXT. Rumors were sexual harassment uh, to being useless in the sense that she's useless. She posted a statement on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I didn't one read of the two. It. I haven't read it yet. Uh, we'll get her explanation once I read that. We'll know more. W0Online.com. You'll know what's up right after we go off the air. Cheers. Uh, John Morgan, uh, what did you guys think of Roman Reigns' mic time last night? I thought he did much better than he usually does. Same as always. Same as always. In my opinion. Okay. George Romero's back and he says, Thoughts on how Raw can get better? Sure. Uh, chop an hour off of it. Take it back to two hours. Everything except for Paul Heyman. Everything. I think that chopping it to two hours would be a big improvement. I think it would help. Nick Dodge. Uh, any more news about the TNA TV deal? The Velocity stuff we mentioned last week. That's uh, about it. No news Pretty much nothing front, new. Yeah. No, no, no news. Jay Mullen says, You guys looking forward to... To the best wrestling on TV today, NXT, specifically NXT TakeOver 2 on September 11th. It's got a loaded card. By the way, keep an eye on Enzo Amore from NXT. He's got it on the mic. Dude is awesome. People say NXT on a weekly basis, Thursday night on the WWE Network. It's supposed to be a really good show. I haven't checked it out. I'm telling you right now, the, I haven't either. But those specials, they're awesome. It feels like the NXT arrival, NXT take. It feels like watching an ECW pay per view really back does. when they were the yeah. thing. Like it's yeah. like, oh, this is different and it's special, and this is where the great wrestlers are and the great stuff. You know, different stuff. I agree. It's not the I same agree. old shit. NXT Takeover Two. I'm gonna check it out. I check out all the live specials. Oh yeah, and Boom does. Come. I've watched every one of them. Uh, Vincent Nugent, with the official season of the NFL starting up soon, do you guys think WWE should really step up to the plate on delivering quality programming oh, shit. each and every week? <laughs> Absolutely, man. And they've got two games that they've got to go head to head with next Monday night. I so think they that's both the fall reason. At the same time I think that's the reason why. They did the steel cage match and the SummerSlam rematch and Jerry well, Springer. They're loading up next. The reason they, they did the Michael Sam thing because he's NFL time. Absolutely. And let's take the hottest story in NFL and try and get Absolutely. publicity for our shit because NFL's yes. coming back on Monday. Let's Absolutely. try and get you know, one hundred percent. Yeah. But all that other stuff too. Like let's give them everything possible to make them have a reason to no watch us next week, not mm -hmm. football. I'm Matt great. Johnson says I'm probably in the small minority of this, but I thought the Bella segment was decent, and I'm looking forward to their match. I think it's going to be physical, considering how Nikki went after Brie last week with the mic, and I agree with that. She hit her with the mic hard. Yeah, yeah. And he says, with the mic hard shots, uh, he says, do you see their match being with some sort of stipulation? You know what? I do think the match is going to be really physical, okay? I just, I don't like the angle of getting there. And it's not... Yeah. It's and not you know what sucks is, it's probably going to bleed over into Hell in a Cell. Probably. Because of Total Divas. Probably. And... 
that's the other thing. We're going to have to watch a whole season of Total Divas with them pretending not to like each other. Exactly. On a reality, it's different. Scripted on television, WWE, brother. it's just a shitty promo and shitty segment. On a reality show, <laughs> you're trying to sell people on the fact that this oh, is real. Man. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Everybody knows wrestling isn't real these Total days. Total Divas Season 3 is going to be the It's going to be the worst season. Scripted season. It's going to be the worst one ever. Eight. And I kind of like Total Divas, and I'm embarrassed to say it. But I kind of like it. But you know how they do segment by segment? Like, even Marie gets her segment Yeah, her each family. person has a thing. Like, Rosa Mendez's keep... storyline is that she was fired and now she's back. Right. Natalia's going to take her under her wing. Maybe they'll keep the Bella segments, you know, kind of in that one slot where they get ten minutes. I think I think that's going to be else. the main event uh, know, segment right. of right. the season. Or right. this main event storyline. Uh, Ali Adair. Oh, John Morgan's right here. New WZR shirts, maybe. Oh, I'm a WZR guy. I like that. <laughs> That's a nice shirt. That is good. I'm not wasting a thousand. Allie Adair. What would you both say the best way to build a faction is? I'm reading? a fan oh, of oh, the oh. slow burn. I'm sorry. I thought uh, you were reading that. Sorry, one. you skipped ahead. Okay. Uh, it's all good. Um, the best way to build a faction. I didn't hear. Oh, best we way to build a faction. We talked about that earlier. You take one established guy that's yeah. either really, really established, or like Evolution, take two established guys where mm-hmm. one isn't wrestling anymore. Like Flair would be the perfect guy even now today. Mm-hmm. Put Flair with somebody, and then a couple of guys that are up and coming with them. A couple of the rookies, if you will. And try and get those fuckers over. Get all the rub from of the, those guys. Yeah. Get the rub from exactly. the guys that have been the established around. Established guys. Okay. Uh, John Morgan, I do like that. T-shirt ID he's got. Yeah. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, Dan Dan Langren says, with the crap with the crap with Adam Rose and the bunny, uh, does it lead to a Adam Rose heel turn? LOL, just kidding, but really, if Cena does win at Night of Champions, are the chances of Rollins cashing in more than likely? I hope so. We just talked about How that. How Rollins cashes in, I, I don't Well, think put it this way. I mean, we'll Go with his theory. He says, if Cena wins... Mm-hmm. What are the chances of Rollins cashing in? My thing was, if Brock wins, there's no way Rollins is cashing Rollins in. Rollins is not cashing in on yeah. Brock. All right, uh, Jesse Young, last week it was Dude, revealed no on Monday Night Wars. I said that there's no, no way I said, Rollins go with the Cena. Thing. If Cena wins, what are the chances of Rollins cashing in? If Cena that was wins, his question. That he, there would be more of a chance there. Yeah. With if, Cena but wins. do you think he would actually do no. it? No. I don't either. No. Uh, Jesse Young, last week it was revealed on Monday Night Wars that Sting was originally the third member of the NWO. Do you think it would have worked? No, No, I knew about that for a while. Uh, And he didn't agree to it. They were trying to talk him into it. Because Hogan at first didn't didn't want to do it. Hogan did not want to do it. Okay. But he saw Nash and Hall and the Outsiders, and it looked like WWF versus WCW. He saw how over it was getting, and Hogan said, and Nash's famous line is, Hogan's smart enough that he sees that money train rolling by, and he says... (laughs) Yep. It ain't going that fast. I can still jump on that son of a bitch and take over. You know what I mean? There you go. Uh, but amazing. yes, if Sting would have been the third guy, yeah. wouldn't have worked. Why? Because Sting is the only guy that everybody knows, that big name that's never been in WWE. Mm-hmm. The reason the NWO worked is because it looked like a WWE faction invading WCW. Right. So it wouldn't have made any sense for a WCW guy, and who is more of a WCW guy than Sting, being part of the WWE faction invading. It wouldn't make any fucking sense. Right. Uh, John Morgan, did you guys catch pointing at Reigns? Did you guys catch pointing at Reigns and telling Triple H, that's your new guy and you know it? Did you guys catch pointing at Reigns and telling Triple H? Who pointed at Reigns? Who pointed at Reigns? You left out a uh, a name. The crucial part. (laughs) David Hadley, do you think WWE World Heavyweight... You can take the next two. World Heavyweight uh, Championship match at Night of Champions maybe changed to a six-pack challenge. It would be Lesnar versus Cena versus Reigns versus Rollins. No, I don't think that's going to happen. No, not at all. Vincent Nugent's back, and he says, where do you guys think WWE heads with the whole AJ Lee and Page saga, and will it get hot between the two for the Divas division as a whole? Uh, I don't think it'll help the Divas division at all. No. The divas. I don't think anything will help that. Yeah, uh, you pay the Stephanie you Mickey pay? or the Stephanie Bree <laughs> thing was about as good. Yeah. Uh, the Stephanie uh, uh, Bree thing was about as good as the Diva Division program feud that's is going to get. Right, that's and it didn't it. help the Divas Division as a whole at all. That's it helped for one program. It started out good, and yes. then it just went. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it was going like this, and then it's <laughs> right. <and> then <laughs> like a roller coaster, slowly up, slowly up, all the way slowly to the top, up, and then it crashing. And then it was that point where, oh, we got as high as we're getting. Now it's time to fucking drop that way back it. to where we come from. Nugent's got one more. Where is he here? Uh, He's out right here, brother. He says, do you guys watch and keep track of the Total Divas reality TV show? If so, will you be tuning into the first episode of Total Divas from its newest third season? Oh, we talked about... Yeah, I do watch. 
<laughs> you started off watching it, I didn't, and yeah. then I we switched. We reversed. Kind of like TNA. When they yeah. first did the $5 pay-per-views, yeah. I was all over them. Yeah. When they became big, you were all over it, and I stopped watching. Right. Yeah. Uh, last one here. David Adley does WWE do per-appearance contracts. Kind of like TNA does when they... Uh, if Lesnar is only on a limited dates, could WWE just sign him per appearance? Lesnar's got a multi-million dollar contract with WWE uh, for very limited amount of dates. Uh, he's not going to... Uh, they could yeah. renegotiate, but per appearance date, like you get paid to appear on this Raw, this Raw, I don't... But I, the, his question is, does end. WWE do per appearance contracts? Not really. They do, like Jericho, RVD, uh, not per appearance, but yeah, we're going to do three months, and we right. need you to do this many shows. Right. That's not really a per appearance. You know what I mean? First, That's a, a time frame that, yeah, we're gonna, we need you from here to here, or he agrees to go from here to here. Here to here, right. Yeah, and we need you, like Jericho did all the tours, he went to Australia, he went there's, to... There's also been times where enhancement talents have come out and said that WWE pays them a couple hundred dollars or something like that to appear on television, um, but normally... Oh, that's honor. Different. Right, that's enhancement. That's talents, a one-time thing. Yeah, right, we need you to be a right. security guard on Raw. A couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Here you go, and that's that. Brother, that's Tuesday night. All right. <clears throat> we will see you guys next Tuesday night. Very busy uh, tonight on the websites. We've Very got nice. a lot of stuff that's got to go up. SmackDown spoilers. Nothing big happened on main event tonight. Um, the Miss know. TV segment, there was a Divas hey. match. Uh, there was a Gold Dust Stardust thing where they kind of furthered the heel thing. That was right. about it. Uh, best wishes to Jake the Snake Roberts. It seems like all the latest updates we're getting on him getting is better. he's been joking with nurses yeah. and that he's getting better. So, Hopefully. listen, uh, I've had a past issue with Jake on Twitter, and you know when something like that happens, yeah, but to you guys made up. We we made kind up. Of. I mean, I'm not yeah. big on his lawyer, the manager, and the people that were. But, well, but yeah. listen, when that's Kyle McGee. That's the guy that was giving the that's updates. That's Kyle McGee. That's the guy that you that's had to say. <laughs> I didn't even put that together. But, so you just but said let that. me tell you something. When when something like that's this his happens, roommate too. It's his roommate. It's his, his lawyer, lawyer and his manager. And his manager. Yeah. But uh, listen, when something like that happens to somebody, a legend such as uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, one of my favorites, you wish him well, and uh, I, I wish By him the way, the best. Hopefully, he gets better soon. We were talking about all these best promo guys ever. Mm -hmm. Jake belongs on that list. He's up there. Jake Roberts was one of the first guys because wrestling used to be when I get you in the ring and I'm gonna. Th it was all right. yelling and energy. Jake yeah. was the first guy to go. Right. Listen. When I get you in that, you know, he was the yeah, first guy to like, yeah, yeah. And, 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 it, and it taught everybody that, and, and he even would reference it in his promos. I learned a long time ago. Huh? If a guy's got something, if, you know, or whatever yeah, his thing was, was hey, if I've got good. something to say, I don't, need to, I don't need to yell and holler. You'll listen. Yeah. Because, yeah. You, you know, you want to know what I got. You know, I, I forget what his wording was, he but was he was good. the guy that changed. And the, the way he said it, his delivery, his delivery was, awesome. was amazing. Yeah. His yeah. ring psychology is, is, he could, hit, it, like, before The Rock, I would say Jake was one of the best people as far as, as controlling a crowd. Right. On the mic and during a match. He mm -hmm. could make them do whatever he wanted. Proof in the pudding, and we'll close on this, his Hall of Fame speech. That motherfucker owned the Hall of Fame. Killed it. He killed it. Speaking of killing it, we did all right tonight. We didn't kill anybody. Everybody's no. still alive, right? Yeah, Everybody it sounds like down. a baby's dying right still now. Still alive, I yeah. know. I hear that. <laughs> uh, we're out of here. Uh, we'll <laughs> see you guys next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. WZROnline.com. Yes. We want your feedback as well. Tell them, Matt Boone, where they can submit. Well, you can go to Facebook.com slash... Started from the bottom, now we're here. Ryan Clark WZR, or you can go to Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. And we want to know two specific things this week. Hey, we mentioned it earlier. Do you guys, or this way, would you guys be willing and for us having no names in the MMA world as guests on the show. If you would like to see UFC guys, big name Bellator guys, guys that you would know in the MMA world as guests on this show, please let us know in our feedback. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR, Facebook.com slash Matt Boom WCR. If you'd like it, we'll give it to you. Otherwise, we want to know the normal. What did you like about tonight? Let us know. We'll do more of it. What didn't you like? We'll do less of it. This is how we make the show exactly what you motherfuckers want to hear and see. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR, Facebook.com slash Matt Boom WCR, you son of a bitch. For Matt Boom, that's me, Ryan Clark. And see you next Tuesday night, 8 Eastern Time, WCR Online. 
Started from the bottom, now the 